Right, welcome. Welcome to the eighth session of the Tales from Loop Ninawaki, Wisconsin campaign. I'm Scott Scott's Case Files, and uh, we're here to have another fun session. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get straight to introducing the stars of the show, the kids of Ninawaki, Wisconsin. Start over here, the uh, Jude, who are, or Robert, rather, we're doing players, Robert, who we're welcoming back from a, a, an illness that I'm glad he did not share with us. <laughs> He's happy to be here. And then we got Andy, or I'm sorry, Tim, I keep going player, not your character, not player, it's Tim. Greetings. And Aaron. Hi again, everyone. And of course, Dr. Oculari. Hello there. Oh, and he means business today. He's got on the wrist brace. Oh, yeah. Stand back. Stand the hell back. All right. <laughs> So yes, last last session was quite quite the session. Uh, we had a, had a little little bit of a roller coaster ride and some twists and turns at the end. And uh, yeah, here we are, back for more punishment. So uh, before we start, uh, let's do uh, let's do the the open, opening video, and then I'll have you guys introduce your characters, and we'll go through the you know the troubles and all that kind of good stuff. So here we go. All right, all right. So let's do intros. Why don't we start with Alice Wonder Sprang? Wonder Sprang is important. Uh, hello. I'm 14. I'm a rocker. Uh, my iconic item is Silvered Shades. Uh, my anchor is Joshua, who is essentially my uh plays the role of my older brother but he's actually my uh older cousin uh because my parents died a week before my first birthday and i'm being raised by uh by my father's uh brother's uh family in Ninawake, wisconsin uh my pride is i don't take shit from no one uh my problem is that uh, my parents, I call think of them as my step-parents, think my parents' uh, death was an accident and I'm convinced it wasn't. Uh, my drive is I need to figure it all out, whatever that is. It's got to make sense. Excellent. I think that covers it. I think that's all, good job. Uh, how about Mikey? Mikey Wong. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm Aaron. I play Mikey Wong, 13-year-old computer geek. And uh, <clears throat> Mikey is uh, currently, uh, his pride is that he's the go-to guy for technical stuff. So um, he really, really likes that. His current problem is that um, despite rescuing his mom his parents want to avoid trouble at all costs so they won't back him in anything he's trying to do to uncover illegal stuff or um you know bring other adults to justice it's just not going to happen <laughs> uh 
So that's really kind of put Mikey off big time now from wanting to listen to his parents. Um, his drive, uh, he does still want to get a date with a girl, but that seems to be waning. Um, <laughs> a couple yeah. years off at least, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, he, he has learned always be asking. So, <laughs> so what um, about the electric guitar? Does that affect his desire to learn to play the electric guitar? After a few failed attempts at going in and trying out an electric guitar he thought he would like, he realized that he just doesn't have the left hand finger coordination mm. for it because of his prior accident, so he gave up on that. Okay. Um, but there's definitely other ways. Yeah, otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten the attention of Becky at the video store. So. <laughs> yeah. Or so he thinks. So he thinks. Yeah. Closer and closer. Yep. Uh, what else? Uh, his favorite song is Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. And uh, his anchor is Mr. Martin, the local movie theater owner. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to actually watch uh, or listen to some of uh, Mikey's playlist today, but I ran out of time, unfortunately. But I've been trying to get psyched out by listening to the whole thing, type of thing, when I when I have the time. Yeah. But I'll probably put that like, in the description. It's up to like fifty five songs now. So damn, that deserves its own yeah. video. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll make one. Yeah, we're, we're good with that. Awesome. So uh, let's see here. Let's go to Andy Martin. Hey, I'm Tim. I play Andy Martin. <clears throat> Andy just turned fifteen. Um, he is the uh, athlete of the group. Um, he's got a, his, his pride is he's got a fantastic throwing arm. He plays uh, baseball and football and, uh, he's a freshman this year in high school. And, um, with that comes, um, you know, some of the problems of, um, you know, being adolescent high school age, uh, he's starting to drink to party, um, which it hasn't really, um, you know, caused any serious problems, but, uh, his parents did find out about it and he got grounded for like half the summer or something like that so um did he learn his lesson i don't know but uh you know at, at 14 15 do we do we really learn lessons I'm not sure. <laughs> i know i didn't <laughs> so so I, I'm, I'm channeling a bit of myself into some of andy's behavior here so at any rate uh i knew it <laughs> <laughs> although i was not an athlete um but <laughs> Uh, no, uh, so, and, um, his anchor is his mother, who's a, who's a teacher, and, uh, his drive is, uh, kind of, kind of pairs with, uh, just, just being an athlete is to win, to, to compete, and to, um, you know, um, always, um, you know, try to be the best. Awesome. Cool. All right. Uh, and last but not least, least, Jude Walker. Tell us about it, Jude. Hello, it's good to be back. Uh, no. uh, Jude Walker is the 13-year-old weirdo of the group. Um, he's never seen uh, too far away from his uh, his uh, Polaroid camera that he got for uh, uh, it was just a little present for entering public school for the first time. Uh, he really loves his big brother, uh, Rigby, and uh, they, uh, they, they got a real close relationship. Um, Jude prides himself on uh, that he can solve any mystery given enough time, and uh, um, his problem is that he's really like unfamiliar with the outside world, being like such a sheltered kid growing up. And his drive is that he wants to experience that world. Awesome, perfect. So as a note, perfect. as a note, if you guys haven't removed your conditions from last session, do so and boost your um, yeah. luck back up to whatever its max is for your age. So I have some experience. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, nice. You Tell us about it, Andy. So what? Uh, so what does five get me again? Uh, five gets you uh, plus one to any skill. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. Let's see. You got a lot of good, a lot of good stuff here. And is there a max to the points in your skill? Uh, I don't think we've gotten there. Yet. I want to say five. We haven't mm. really gotten to that yet. Let me look at that while I'm thinking about it. I think I'm going to bump up force one more. Nice. Puts me at a four. 
It's always good. It's always good to have the the tough guy, the strong the, guy, the tank of the group, the tank of the group. Yeah. Our barbarian. Yeah, our barbarian. <laughs> Funny, so to speak. Let's see here. Skills, skills, skills. Per se, it occurred to me that we'd actually get to a point where they were we're getting to a max level of skills here potentially. Uh, let's see. Da -da. I'm going to take my next point in program, so I'll be a four. Nice. I'm just going back through this real quick. Word. Anybody else have any uh, stuff to spend on while we're thinking about it? I'm only one away. You're one away? Nice. Yeah, I did it after the last session, but... My charm is up to a four since I seem to be using that a lot. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're, yeah, you, in one way or another, intimidation or actual charm. Yeah, you've been pulling that, uh, you, pulling that, uh, part of it for everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, darn it. I really want to find how much this skill max is. Uh, but meantime, um, do you guys have any, well, I'm looking for that. Uh, do you guys have any, um, uh mundane scenes you want to do in particular hmm. 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 it's a tough hmm. one can i get a small recap on what happened after the oh after the police showed up that could be yeah. part of our mundane scene huh oh yeah i suppose that could uh, be catching up you guys if you guys, you guys want to actually you guys want to just jump to the hideout and catch yeah. jude up that can, makes sense we can do that yeah all right let's go ahead and do that and why was jude out again in the game i forget i think he's gonna have to explain that he like... just didn't show up oh, it was a family emergency oh that's uh, right oh. and the and the max for skill is five by the way All right. Okay. Why don't you get? Why don't you guys just start in the uh, in the hideout and let's do a scene. Let's go over stuff. So is this after school or before school? Uh, let's say this is after school on like a Thursday. Um, okay. October thirty first is Saturday. Uh, Halloween's okay. coming up, huh? So it's the Tales of Loop Ninawake Halloween episode. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. of, on a very special episode of Tales from the <laughs> Nunawaki, Wisconsin. No, it's really not one of those. Is that Please. The, is that inside of the, uh, is that like the tagline the, underneath the actual title, Nunawaki, Wisconsin? Yep. Yep, it is. Cue up the Halloween movie. Yeah, uh, cue up the Halloween movie. All right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, go for your, uh, go for your, your scene in the uh, hideout. Hey, so uh, probably putting on some music or have some music jamming, something uh, maybe like The Cure right now. Because we really, really need to bring everybody up right now, you know? <laughs> well, it, it's, it's not like it's Morrissey, you know? Well, it could be Friday on My Mind, which is sort of upbeat. Yeah. Or Friday I'm in Love, I'm sorry. Yeah, Friday I'm in Love. Friday on my mind is a different song. Not by the cure. And uh Mikey's uh well, while waiting for other people, Mikey's been drawing up plans of uh trying to build an Ed two oh nine for Halloween to try and go as a an Ed two oh nine from Robocop. Oh what is what is the Ed two oh nine? I don't even remember that to be honest with you. Oh, it's the giant two-legged robot oh, uh, at the end that blows people away because it's uh i don't know <laughs> just going nuts. trying to try it, it's sent after um after robocop uh, to take him down but then uh somehow they turn it around and uh turn the programming against the corporate executives and just like uh, real life yeah <laughs> <laughs> cool continue please so Jude, where are you where you been, man? What happened? Uh I had to yeah, I had to my uh 
uh, my dad was having really bad, uh, uh, just really bad stomach pains. He was sweating really hard. Uh, it was getting like just it was just so much pain he couldn't move. So my family they 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 called me home. Uh, we took that to the hospital, and he just had to go to the bathroom really bad. He he just was blocked <laughs> up so hard. <laughs> I didn't know that that could happen. <laughs> that must be an adult thing. Yeah, I didn't either. But I guess sometimes it'll get like so solidified there that they have to do surgery to take it out. So that's what they had to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nasty. Was his, was his stomach like pushing out with like a big, huge amount of poop inside? Or <laughs> Yeah, we what? hadn't gone for a couple of days. That's why I got so serious. Oh God. That sounds terrible. So he's okay now. Yeah. Now I'm yeah, he's okay. okay. He just he's got a couple stitches. Um, uh, he doesn't really walk around um outside of going to work and whatnot too much. Wow. Well, you missed, does he have a you... job still? Oh, your dad? Mm. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> what don't you remember? Seriously. You seriously it? missed out on what happened with Mrs. Hallerhan. Oh, yeah, what happened? Uh, I was really sad to kind of leave off in the middle of the our big investigation. We were, my, my brother said it was like a, telling him about these stupid James Bond movies that me and my friends are coming up with and I don't even know what James Bond is. He had to explain it to me. Why is his number is why is he Mr. Number Seven? <laughs> <laughs> it's double O seven. You gotta have you gotta yeah, have seven. two you gotta have two kills. That's the double O. Yeah he's just double a seven, license. right? It's that's it's just the, the zeros don't mean it. It's all seven. I think he's like the seventh one. Or maybe he's super lucky. I'm not sure. That might be it. I think I have a view to a kill at my house. We can watch it. We really need to get a TV and a VCR. In <laughs> yeah, the, the clubhouse is lacking. <laughs> Where's our tech guy? Where's our freaking tech guy? That's what I want to know. Uh, yeah. So what happened? Uh, uh, oh my gosh. So, um, uh, we so we knew we found out about that door right in the back mm -hmm. of the video store yeah. and we yeah. made a plan and andy went and started looking mm -hmm. at the porn in the video store and oh. <clears throat> um you do that in the adult section uh i learned i had to Why learn what that, that word was i You're didn't know what this there. word meant until i like we went there so <laughs> until we went the curtain, there right? Yeah, so so I ran, so so I, I figured if I ran in behind the curtain, um, Becky from behind the counter would come chase after me. And while Becky was coming after me, then Alice could sneak around and grab the keys. Oh, yep. Man, I love it when a plan comes together, because I'll tell you what, it worked perfectly. Except. <laughs> except. It didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> there were no keys there. So then Miss Hallerhan comes out the back. And I was like trying to be ready to distract her. And I grabbed a movie from Mrs. Schmitz, the gym teacher, not really looking at what it is, but I faked it and said it's mine. And that got us in trouble. And then um, what happened next? <laughs> I don't remember. Well, then, then we figured we could, we, if, if we could get Becky to help us out, then, you know, we, 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 we might have a chance, right? Yeah, that's right. So, how did you so, get to help you out after you uh, ran into the back of the adult room that you're not supposed to be in? Ah, uh, you know that was that was all just uh, I, we smoothed that over. You know, we smoothed that cool over. About, we, we we she was really cool about it. So then you know we 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 just went up. We started talking to her like, hey, you know, like you could really help us out if you um, could get those keys for us. And uh, so we kind of worked out a plan. And um, yeah. We ended up getting the keys. Oh, oh we great. Got, uh, we... So, <laughs> yeah. What happened after that? Well, we got the keys, 
uh, we open the door, we get down there, and it turns out she's had my mom down there, like, who knows how long. My mom didn't actually go to China. I mean, Taiwan. Oh. Dude, she was strapped in a chair. Why would she die? Yeah. 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 This is Holler Holler Hand uh, abducted her. She was doing yeah, espionage. Wow, she was, stuff, yeah, they, 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 they dragging doing her and drugging her and interrogating her and doing all sorts of evil stuff to her. But and I'll tell you what, it's some honestly really heavy stuff. We we smashed all the shit in that in that <laughs> place and uh, and and made sure that this was not going to keep happening. We let we let uh, my, uh, Mikey's mom out of the chair. She was kind of freaked out. Like it was pretty, pretty heavy. And he totally broke Mrs. Hallerhan's kneecap. He like whipped his baseball and pow. Oh yeah, because then, then, then the door opens. We start hearing her come down the stairs. So I grabbed my baseball and I wound up and I just pegged her right in the knee, and we bolted up the stairs and got out. And then we turn around, locked the locked the door behind us, and then I'm handing this and off. Then... <laughs> it's a team story and we had to call the cops yep we got becky to call the cops and they showed up with the ambulance my mom freaked out ran through the traffic across the street i had to go chase her and then like mrs hallerhan like pulled a fast one or something and all of a sudden, she was getting the police to believe everything from her side of the story, not listening to us at all. And the cops were like total assholes. Yeah, but then then these goons from uh, what's the name of the company? Elron. Eldrin. Eldrin, Eldrin Labs. That's the real one. Eldrin. Elron. Yeah. Then these goons from <laughs> Eldrin showed up and took uh, Mrs. Hol Hollerhan away. Uh, and you might have heard that her house burned down, and and Becky's running the video store now. Yeah, yeah. So stuff happened that nobody told is telling us about. Yeah. yeah. And when we tried to bring wow. the evidence to my dad, he was like, "No, I don't care. Get rid of it." So I'm really pissed. Yeah, it's like the adults really in this town care. don't don't even care. They don't. They never all. care. Well, that's why we did this, right? That's why we tried to help. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a drag. You would think that they would want to, like, give us medals or something for busting, you know, an international spy Keeping ring. the case wide open, right? <laughs> Isn't that what happens in all the movies and the TV shows? Yeah. You like, solve it, and then everybody's like, oh, my God, you solved it. You did the right thing. That's yeah. awesome. And then we go on TV and none of that's happening. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool to be on Johnny Carson? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Maybe we should write to them. <laughs> uh, he wouldn't believe us either. I'm telling you. He might still be a son. People love kids, right? Maybe. <laughs> so um i noticed that there was uh over in one of the abandoned car lot areas like where they sell christmas trees in the winter but where in the summertime it's just like two old jalopies that nobody ever does anything with there's like two robot uh like manual um miners or something like they're they're used to do hard manual labor or something i was thinking maybe we could check those out and like maybe get them to do um like the red and blue robot in the robot ring like rock 'em sock 'em robots. Like rock 'em sock 'em robots. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh my god. I'm For in Halloween. Halloween. You're. Uh, I think you're onto something here, Mike. 
<laughs> and Jude, Jude's all jumping into the trouble. It's like, I just don't want to break the... What law you want broken? Oh, yeah, I'm totally down. <laughs> I mean, I, I have gone past there three days in a row. They haven't moved. Nobody's there. I don't know where they came from. But I'm pretty sure that whatever's used to control them, we could either pick up something from that like that from the, <laughs> the lot or or maybe the little christmas tree office has the, what's that you think you create like two controllers yeah create them or uh maybe they're even there uh like with the oh, robots yeah. somewhere but i figure who they already punch who they already punch i said maybe they already punch oh yeah yeah totally or we could teach him to punch. <laughs> yeah. I will teach you, you know violence. What's that? Do you know how to punch? Uh, yeah, sure. Everybody knows how to punch. I guess. It always hurts my wrist whenever I do it. Oh. Yeah, mine too. Definitely. Have you guys seen that new boxer, Mike Tyson? Man, that guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's scary. He's scary. <laughs> I can't watch him. I think they talk about him a lot. So, uh, I'm, so I'm are in. we just gonna we just gonna go? Yeah, to, uh, let's let's go play some robots or something <laughs> it's, right, it's... so where, where is where allison we lose alice what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, barely are you in for do this rock'em sock'em robots do you want to go do rock'em sock'em robots with us for reals i mean for real uh sure sure uh, but, uh, maybe on our way, let's just swing by the video store. I just want to, you know, <laughs> say hi to Becky. Okay. Thank her for helping us out. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Oh, hey, Jude, Mikey asked Becky out. Oh, did it? Shut did, up, man. Did it go well? Shut up. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. In a I couple totally... years, she'll maybe go out with him. Wow. Yeah, oh, she's I don't like know, 16, seventeen. I think seventeen. Oh, yeah, she's 17. old. She's well, she's in college. Really she's a freshman in college, so she's smart she? but young for. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool, man. Yeah, she turned me down. Hey, she said, like, that's a maybe, man. There's still a chance. I know. I know. <laughs> There's still a chance. That's literally everybody's take on it. There's still a chance. It's It's been a couple weeks. I still have a chance. It's been a couple weeks. I mean, maybe she's changed her mind by now. Perseverance, maybe. my friend. Funny. Just wear them down. And uh, it is uh, getting towards so night, so this is an opportune time to do that kind of thing. Shenanigans? Yeah, shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. Mm. I've always wanted to do shenanigans. <laughs> I've always wanted to sh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Well my friend, we're gonna make we're gonna do some shenanigans. <laughs> I I can just feel this certain that certain buzz that starts to happen, you know, when you're super overloaded with kid energy and like everybody just starts to get too freaking loud and too jumpy and too like too adrenaline filled and... is a is a freaking great idea, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's awesome. I, I I know I remember that feeling well. Yeah, I, I had it a couple hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right and we're saying goodbye to robert for now it's been fun <laughs> no robert's great yes uh, tell me what you guys are doing you want to head are you guys heading over to the lot i think we gotta stop by becky's or i mean oh that's right the, the video store, store. 
Yep. But we Steve should Dickey make it. We should make go. it quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the video store is open. Um, it's it's running like it used to, except no more damn Twizzlers. They have every other candy <laughs> under the sun right now, and they have popcorn, but there's not a not a Twizzler to be found within three blocks of Halloran Video. Hey Becky, what happened to the Twizzlers? Yeah, Becky looks up and she uh, she she kind of you know is she's studying as usual, and she when she kind of. She's kind of half listening to the world around her as she's studying. And once it registers that when she looks up and sees it, Mikey was the one talking and she kind of lights up. Oh, hey, Mikey. Yeah. So, yeah, like they're poisoned or something. La, 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 <laughs> la. Yeah. What does Becky look like? What's that? What does Becky look like? Uh, she, yeah, she's just kind of like, uh, you know. Uh, average, I suppose, kind of bookish. You know, she kind of looks, she kind of plays into the stereotype of the bookish girl. Uh, it looks athletic. She definitely leaped over a, uh, the counter last episode. So we know that she can vault like no one's business and run with all the great okay. speed to remember. keep anyone from, from porn. She's got like a three in vaulting. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah, the I, should, I should the, say uh, Alice was really in the top when she vaulted crunch. over the counter. Yep. But when Mikey looks at her, it's stars. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah. So she has yeah dark hair, you know, button nose type of thing. Yeah. So she's just uh, she looks up and she kind of lights up. You know, friendly friendly people that she knows, and um, you know, probably she feels some kind of sense of connection to your group. Being that, like, you were the one who made, you know, she, she, whereas the adults know, you know, and, but they, the adults either don't know or they don't care. Becky's still not an adult yet. So she's in that area where she, like, sees what you did. She knows. And, like, she's not going to really go out of her way to, like, you know, make a big deal out of it. But at the same time, you know, you guys, she recognizes you. So, yeah, every now and then, you know, she slips in, like, a little, you know, uh you know an extra candy pack or uh you know an extra video that she put aside for each of you that he thinks you would like that kind of thing so you you're you're um you're uh, this is big a hero as you're gonna be to the city but it's it's enough sometimes Becky, we no way can i get some popcorn <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> Vecarino. She kind of quirks an eyebrow at that. Like, dude, mm-hmm. somebody has game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she she'll slide a, she'll slide a jiffy pop your way. No, I popcorn. Oh, you you just have like a some oh you know what? Never mind. This is fine. I'll just eat the seeds. No, don't <laughs> she's like, oh god, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Please, can you guys please show him how to do this Jiffy Pop thing? No, it's fine. They're fine. No, fine. no, it's, it's in fact, he's like, it's literally not fine. It's always seeds all the time. Like, like, this is the worst possible way to enjoy popcorn that's ever existed. It's, it's like Mikey, seed, right? Andy, Alice, this is like your responsibility <laughs> to show him how good, pro- good popcorn tastes. This is, she's like, this is a travesty. You're going to ruin you your teeth. Do tastes good with chocolate? Don't eat these as seeds. She slides. She slides the Jiffy Pop over to Mike now, like disdainfully looking at Jude, like you are not doing it. <laughs> we don't have time really for Jiffy Pop. We're gonna go do something completely different, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, I thought you had like a bag of pre-popped popcorn. I realize now that you probably don't have a stove in here, so that's probably on me. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey or Alice, Jude rather Alice didn't you want to say something when we got here oh I just wanted to thank Becky for helping us out a couple of weeks ago that was very impressive thanks a lot oh yeah thanks for helping my friends out Oh yeah, just you know, keep it keep it quiet. You know, no one really knows about that, and that's why I want to keep it. I mean, I get to, really right now this this store's ownership defaulted to the actual owner of the building, so I'm just kind of like running this until it goes in the ground, and maybe if I do it right, it'll it'll stay here. So you know, put the word out that there's good movies coming in, and no more Twizzlers. 
Do you need us to I put out know. flyers? Actually, I mean, if you want to come back tomorrow, I, I have flyers being delivered. Cool. Oh, yeah. I love flyers. And she kind of looks at Jude and, you know, she, she's gotten the hint by the, her interactions with him by now that he, like, doesn't understand quite the world, you know? And uh, <laughs> it's, it's like she, th she thinks of Mike, Alice, and Andy. Uh, Mikey, Alice, and Andy as, like, her interpreters to Jude speak to, like, catch him up on what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> so she kind of looks at you guys bewildered, you know, kind of like, I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know what a flyer is, Jude? Uh, yeah, it's like a piece of paper. It tells you a lot yeah. of important information that you probably should know. Uh, totally. Yeah, it's okay. always good to learn new things. Yeah. Okay, and there's an, there's an extra bag of candy for each of you if you end up do not doing flyers tomorrow. Or the next day. The next day's cool too, but mm. that's, that's uh, Halloween. I don't expect you all to be Taking your time out for that. Oh, we'll definitely stop by. Mike, can you do some cool? I'll, I'll whisper to Mike. Mike, can you do? Can you do some like some super cool, like uh, like uh, maybe like send, like send out, send it out, send out like uh, an email to everybody's computer at school. Or the video store. How do you know about email? <laughs> Eldrin Labs probably uses it. They're one of the one of the one of the you know, along with the military IP style network, they're probably one of the first to yeah, try it out in the like, States. Like five computers at school. <laughs> Wasn't there ARPANET in no, it's there, in eighty five there was uh there was a good deal of uh apples around where I went to at least. Apple two E's my... all over the place. Other than like uh, the services like AOL and CompuServe and stuff like that, could I think you they did call it email at that time, didn't they? In the eighties, I think so. Or was it electronic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that exists. Yeah, but I mean, it took me a little while because like the first time I really used email wasn't until like nineteen eighty eight or something like that uh, through Computer Campus. So the first time I used Timo was probably like 2000. Like this. You're like five or something? <laughs> I was like nine. School was like, hey man, you get an email. And I was like, all right. You're like, what's that? I got an email to do all my predictions. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what an email was. I've seen movies. You've got mail. I've seen movies. <laughs> Hilarious. But yeah, Becky's I, Becky's all excited that she has now someone to actually pass out the things and the flyers and maybe even keep this place in business so she can actually make some money and stuff. I don't know about we're email. Bonafide, we're bona fide employees. We've done work before and we've made money. Isn't that right, guys? Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that's right. We're we excellent know. workers. That's right. That's where we met the robot with a gun, remember? We know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's one of those things we don't talk about, Jude. Yeah, Becky's Be yeah, Becky Becky, Becky hears that a little too loudly and she's like, Why don't you guys just head out and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Becky. Thank you. Bye, Alice. Uh, some, keep I'll these keep these three out of trouble, all right, Alice? I don't know about email, but I think I have an idea for what we could do for that. But I'll talk. Well, I'll tell you later. I gotta work it out. So right. I I'm gonna like. Is that okay to say? My brother told me, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, did you say hell? Oh my god. <laughs> so Mikey's gonna kind of be too excited to get over there and not necessarily be paying attention to like if the group is with him or not and uh have a hard time like slowing down, except for probably Andy. Andy probably can open yeah. some problem. We're probably uh probably as eager as each other. 
<laughs> when so did this group lose, become miscreants? We, we might even lose track of Jude and Alice on the way. I don't know. Are they keeping up? Is Alice picking up the pace? And Jude has challenged to Alice to a paper rock scissors match mm -hmm. on the way over. Just <laughs> a paper rock and scissors. That was beautiful, by the way. Last uh, the most intense game of paper rock scissors last <laughs> session I saw. It was a classic. Quality, quality programming. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I I think uh, uh, both of these robots. I think that they uh, will still have power. I think they're still like battery or battery gas operated or something. We just have to find the controls for them. And then there might be some kind of safety harness we have to disengage. But once we get that off, uh, we should be able to get them to move and throw punches because they're meant to be like, uh, pick up large equipment and, you know, handle it as if, uh, well, using human movement, so. And there they, they are need... now. And there they are now. Do they I wonder if they have a restraining bolt to operate them by remote control. I, I think they're too small to, to get inside of them, okay. uh, but they're definitely big. Um, like, they're just not like, you know, Japanese movie big. So. Mm. Cool. Or like those other giant robots that are across town. <laughs> those guys. <laughs> yes, these guys are they're they're the two robots are sitting there. There is a red run one one's red, one's blue, with you know, chipped and weathered paint. <laughs> and uh they uh they uh, they do they do have two arms. Um and you do see like the little like uh distance controls for them. Uh it kind of looks in, instead of like a, the ones you've probably seen, you know, it's like it looks just like a like a power glove. This one is more like like it almost looks like like uh yeah, like 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 handcuffs of some kind where you put your arms fingers through it and and kind of manipulate like that. Boom, 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 type of thing. But they're like laying there, and there's there's a lock on each of them, so they're like locked off for the moment. Like for the moment like, uh, uh like a physical lock is put like so you can't turn the little knob to go you know activate we gotta Come on, we Mikey, gotta bust these off we gotta bust these off first also over uh, there on the robots there's it looks like there's restraining bolts on them too we gotta get those off too <laughs> restraining <laughs> bolts <laughs> how, do we, uh, how do we get these locks off uh well we should just get uh one of those what do they call those giant metal scissors thingies bolt cutters bolt cutters sure. we get a, we need a pair of bolt cutters well, let's see yeah so this is a construction site so that's com it's possible that they might be there uh let's see here just for kicks uh, do do if that's what we're doing uh, let's see. Uh, who, would, would someone want to roll investigate to see what you can find? That would not would be me. To. That I would not be me. I would, no, I would love to. Not me. Not me. I would love to. Yeah. Okay. Jude, Jude, find us some. Find us uh, metal scissors. Gosh darn it! I'm gonna. I'm gonna break a luck for this. You're gonna break a luck. You go. That's right. I'm gonna pop one luck off. Nice. Two okay. successes. Ooh, worth it. Ooh. Uh, so let me adjust this real quick. Totally. One day, look at me. Totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of energy. Good job. All right. Dude. All right, so uh, you get, uh, let's see, one question plus one more. Or two questions plus one more, excuse me. So you have a total of three if you really want, but no, I'm sure the only one you really care about is where is it right now. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what, has, what is hidden here? 
And where is it? That's gonna be one of them, right? Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can you can do that if you want. Uh, it's it's your questions. Uh, so you have you have up to three if you'd like. What has happened here? What are they doing with these robots? That's just the only other thing I want to know. Okay, so I'll, that's the first one you're asking, as far as I can see. So the, what is happening here is it's definitely a construction site. Um, they're using the robots to like hold up um, steel girders as they weld them in place to make this building. And it's kind of like a newer style building where it is mostly like metal construction and glass as opposed to brick and concrete and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of welding that's been done, that kind of thing around oh, here. Okay, so it's not important. So this is not where they're going to be selling Christmas trees this year. Uh, it depends on how fast the construction not goes. Okay. <laughs> so not, no, not this year. Um, okay. Uh, that, yeah, I wanted to know where the, lo the bolt cutters are. Where is it? So uh, you don't find a bolt cutter. However, you do find a couple of other things that are potentially useful here. Uh, you find a sledgehammer and an acetylene torch. Oh. Oh. Mike! Andy! What could possibly go wrong? I don't have any bolt <laughs> cutters, but I do have a flamethrower and a big hammer. <laughs> Flamethrower. Uh, okay. Yeah, look. So to, to kind of set the scene a little more clearly, so basically to get in here, you guys pretty much had to like jump a fence, like a like a chain link fence. Uh, it's like you know, there's part you know partial buildings up, so you have kind of cover on like one side plus two half sides coming at you, and then there's basic you know construction going inside as if to form you know, walls and stuff. So it's not like you can't hide in here. Uh, the robots themselves are kind of, it's, the rest of the lot is kind of like dirt ground and gravel. And that's what the robots are standing on. So like you, the street you're on isn't really well trafficked. So you don't really have to worry about being discovered or anything for the record. Um, but there's the offside chance. So it's like Jude's lack of stealth skills might just be, you know, a, a detriment here. Just want to put out there. Uh, his lack of inside voice skill, that type of thing. <laughs> I don't oh, think yes. we're really, if, if we were worried about that, we would have already been thinking about how much the robots will make noise after we start smashing <laughs> each there, other. There is that. That is a, oh, that is a, touche, touche. All right, tell me what you guys do. We take the acetylene torch and we heat up the, the lock so that the metal starts to melt. Then you can take the hammer and Bust it off. All right. Hey, who's fun. who's gonna play with fire? Who's, who's oh my! Paper? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think we have time for rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> you can try it. You want me to try it? You want it? You, you you should probably be the one, right? Because you've got the best sort of copper. Manipulate your thing. Uh, manipulate under tinker. Yeah. I'll try it. I'll try tinkering with it. Okay. I don't have anything for tinker. We'll do it with two. Uh, okay. Not doing so hot there. All right. Do you want to? Um, uh, do you want to uh, check a skill or anything, or check a? Uh... What about? Can I use my pride? Like I'm the go-to guy for technical stuff, man. Yeah, totally. Let's do that. that. Yep. So yeah, so, re-roll re everything. Re-roll. Okay. Uh, without without checking any uh, conditions at all. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh! oh I wanted to Whoa. Bonus. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, so yeah, you get three successes. So uh, let's see here. So the basic, the, uh, the one, the first success is it gets you what you want. So you're going to do your thing. Um, what, do you, what are the other two successes used for? In the bonus effects area, to overcome the exact same trouble in the future, I would say um... <laughs> you show off. Uh, I, I would say he does it quietly. That that would be there. But I think the other thing is uh, he no longer needs to roll to use a um, a torch. Use a a welder of the sort. 
Gotcha. No, no, they in the, they do make it very specific. So it's like basically oh. you you don't need to roll to overcome using torches on locks anymore. Okay. So specifically yeah. locks as opposed to anything else, that kind of thing. So yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. All right. Make just make a note of that somewhere. We'll make a yeah. we'll keep, the, Let keep me track. Drop that in here. That's so, interesting. So okay. uh, go ahead and this and this kind of this mechanic I think is pretty much like to show like yeah you've done this thing and we don't want to belabor it every damn time you end up doing it when it becomes your go to thing so let's just say that he's an expert type of type of thing so uh, since you got the awesome successes why don't you uh, describe the scene what what does, it, what does it look like for for him to light up that torch and go to work so um, I think he would probably have made a mistake first of like not thinking about covering his eyes and um i know it's not like an arc welder or anything but it's still pretty bright right, right. and uh <clears throat> so that that's the first thing that happens like he gets it lit and like whoa and um starts to cover his eyes while he does this thing um alice uh kind of grudgingly says okay here wear these <laughs> ah, <laughs> nice so, uh, Ah, teamwork yeah, makes a dream work. Back. Give them right back when you're done. Okay, I promise. <laughs> nice. All right. So the trick here is all of these pieces are really sensitive to heat. So what we've got to do is draw the heat <laughs> away while we apply heat. So here we're going to cut right here, but I'm going to hold this other metal rod up against this, draw away the heat, and boom, hit it. With the hammer. <laughs> Hit it. Who's hitting it? Goosh. Crash. Crack. Metal cracks like, like it was frozen. And Shazam! <laughs> Flips the torch off. No sweat. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> hey, can I see the torch for a second? Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, be careful. It's super hot. You only want to hold it here. Oh, cool. So I'm just going to like play with it and kind of shh. <laughs> it's a lightsaber now. Oh, Jesus. That's going to end well for so, everyone. Guys, we have to do the other one too. Right? There's two. Yeah, this, 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 this two covers. Lines. Yeah, this covers it. And plus, you're. Oh, you covered both of them? Yeah, well, the, especially with the, with the fact that he doesn't have to roll for the exact same thing again. Okay. It All happens. Right, giving my shades back. All right. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Does okay. does Mikey feel honored given that like uh Alice has never given up her shades to literally anyone ever in the history of you knowing her? No. <laughs> it's all like it's all like all you're all grouped now, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Our the Dreamweaver days are over. Those are past. This is a new okay, Mikey so now. He's <laughs> Yeah, that's he's right. It is a new He's got Becky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it, I'm sure it'll be somebody else after Becky soon. Uh, so yeah, then uh, Mikey hands uh, Andy one of the controllers and says, okay, you stick your hands through here, you flip it on here, you have to hold down this button here for five seconds, and then that'll start the robot, but we still have to get those... Um, restraining bolts off the robots too. We're gonna need to pry those off, or something. I guess I could hit them with the torch again. Maybe <laughs> I'm not sure. That might be dangerous. Like where they're where they're connected to all the other circuits and stuff inside there. Hmm. We might have to figure out a way to short circuit it. All right, we could do that too. One to break the. Say that again. Can you just use one of them to break the other for restraining bolt? I like tear it right off. In Star Wars, yeah. they just kind of twist yeah. off. All right, well, let's try that. Hey, guys, before we do this, <laughs> are you sure that these are restraining bolts? Are you just making this up because of that movie? Uh, uh, well... Why don't we just try turning it on and see what happens? Okay. 
I'll do that. I'll try turning it on. Yeah, it turns on, lights up. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> there's probably some kind of like light sensors on the top, like you know that senses it as dark, and so lights like a couple spotlights turn on on the front of it, like you know, on the front of like a jeep type of thing. I totally Ooh. worked. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn mine on. Uh, which also turns on, same thing. Oh wait, All wait, right, wait! Let's do this. Oh wait, before we do this, I brought one more thing. Uh, here, take this Walkman, and I made a tape, so we <laughs> can do this to a soundtrack while we play. And Are you gonna play Eye of the Tiger? Each, each person wears one. Uh, it you it. I think Eye of the Tiger is number three on there. But yeah, we could go fast forward to Eye of the Tiger. Tell me when to hit play. Oh my God, oh, what a scene this is coming up as! <laughs> Holy bajolies. We're now we're now doing Rock'em Sock'em Robots Silent Prom here. <laughs> silent Prom, yeah. <sighs> All yeah, right. Totally right. Alice is kind of stepping back. She's <laughs> Alice. not entirely uh, Alex, are you gonna control convinced that uh, convinced about this plan. <laughs> oh my God. So I'll let you go after me. Kind of, kind of <laughs> wishing she actually had a working RoboCop uh, costume right now. At <laughs> least <laughs> some armor. Yeah. I mean, well, if she's gonna hang out with boys. This is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So well, yeah, but you know that doesn't. That means that sometimes she wants to kind of like back off a bit. <laughs> So I think I think Mikey's just gonna kind of like start it off with you know like a really bad punch, basically like something that barely lands, or maybe he that's what he wants to do, and something else different happens. But uh, you know he's totally timid about this. Like he's never actually fought anybody. He's never thrown a punch in his life. He lied before. <laughs> he lied. You know. <laughs> so he, he'll be like, uh, you know. <laughs> So are are you are you actually facing off against each other for the first round here? Oh heck yeah! Yeah, who's driving the other one? Me. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Um, I'll say that uh, you can you can use uh, either program or tinker at your leisure. They seem to kind of all both like figure into this controlling robots or controlling vehicles types of things i'm not sure which really applies better so i'll let you guys choose okay so why don't you roll against each other and let's see let's see who let's see which rock and sock and robot comes out on top all right which which one do you want to use uh i think you should use the one that's best for you yeah programmer or tinker whichever either one is a zero so <laughs> Well, Go for you it. Could use move because since it's about you know. No, no, this is definitely still no. doing uh, manipulating things. All right. All right, I'll do tinker. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah. So, no. so yeah, uh, Mikey win wins round one. What is what happens to the other robot? What happens between the two of them? Well, um, I would imagine there there will be some like accidental win at this point like they're the robots are probably kind of drunk looking uh <laughs> since they don't necessarily respond at the rate at which a person would want them to respond especially a impatient kid right who's like super jacked up on his own energy <laughs> so like everything's super lag it's like trying to control something through a super lag camera or something and they're just not doing what you want them to do but eventually you know mikey figures that out and kind of like just waits for a second and uh annie's robot you know totally whiffs and then annie or mikey just like raises his hand raises the arms of the robot and brings it on down on top of the other one and like slams it to the ground so. Oh my god! Oh. It's like crash. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's one of the it's one of those bangs where you like where like you feel it through the ground. 
like a 10 ton truck yeah no exactly like everyone feels it in the area is boom this this oh, thud cool. of solidness that was cool except my 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 controller's defective you gotta you gotta <laughs> wait you gotta wait here like make your robot get back up All somebody right. else want to try this i'll show andy how to do this you guys uh here jude you want to try hell yeah all right. Hell Hell yeah. You need, you need you need these headphones too. Yeah, what's the oh, song man. playing right now? Dun. Is I the Tiger still going or no? Dun, dun, dun. Probably dun, not I the Tiger. Well, let's see here. What's next on Mikey's playlist? Yeah, yeah I'm looking for that. Why isn't this thing popping up? Can't get to it now. I can't get to my full playlist. All I can get to is like song by song. How about Round and Round by Rat? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so that starts blasting in your ears. Comes around, goes around. I'll tell you why. Cool. Uh, so, who, so is it uh, Jude against who? Yeah, shoot against Andy, uh, unless Alice wants to try. With Mike's help. Still, I'm still just... <laughs> Stepping back. When, Al when Alice is the voice of reason, something has gone wrong. Here's what helps. Think, think about it in terms of, like, uh, you have to wait for everything you want to do. So, like, when you want to throw a punch, you can push the button right away. But it's like count to one or two before it actually lands, right? So just got to keep that in mind. So cool. just hit. So just hit. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, like this button will uh react to your arm movements, and and uh this button will react to moving the controller up and down side to side Which one punches? huh jude Which just punches? jude just like took a sucker punch at uh andy's robot right now what's and what's andy rolling he's oh. like oh will you do this i'm just a <laughs> i'm just a sheltered homeschool kid <laughs> yeah right now it looks like a slap fight and the people are are blinded by something so they can't say like, uh, like the robots are like uh, 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 like they're uh, hugging uh. yeah they're, they're <laughs> yeah they're getting close to it yeah it's like there's no there's no real forceful contact at all right now it's it's actually a pretty sad robot fight as these things go <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought this was gonna be ever I thought this was going to be more like Punch Out, you know, the video game, but it's really Why not. Why is it so slow? <laughs> go, Andy, go. Really fighter robots, just they're so just gonna, cool. I'm going to try to make, make my head. robot do a bolo punch, like the old Crusher movie, wind up, wind up. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. <laughs> nice. Let's see how we do. Comes the bolo punch. It comes the bolo punch. Survey says. Oh, oh no, it's yes. still a, it's still a slap it's still an ineffective slap fight. <laughs> Guys, this is lame. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jude keeps saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm totally done." Here's a punch, punch, scucker punch. All right, Andy, go one more time. Go, go, go. All right. Oh. <sighs> Oh, this is the saddest oh, robot fight that's ever uh, been. This is like hungry, hungry hippos where they don't actually touch each nice. other and just just okay, gobble so things Alice up. And finally stuff. walks over and says, "Okay, let, let let me try one." All right, yeah, you, you try. So Andy okay. Andy hands oh, Alice the controller. controller. Let's yeah. Try again. How about Alice against yeah. Mikey? So, so what are the choices? It's either uh, tinker or program. Or, tinker or program. Well, Tinker's the only one I've got a point in, oh, so no. so I'll I'll roll Tinker. Sure. Okay. Yep. One. Oh <laughs> yeah. So nice. Alice, tell me how tell me how your robot hits Jude's robot. Okay. Uh, Alice's robot. Uh, 
actually uh, uh, kicked uh, Jude's robot in the knee. Ooh. Ooh, damn. Slow knee kick. That's rough. Yeah. Do I go on with that? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like what's, the, what's the effect? What do you do? What happens? Oh, I can actually... Oh, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, so, so my robot kicked Jude's robot in the knee, and we hear this really sharp, metallic chink, like something broke in the robot's knee. Uh, oh, no. And, Alice. and the legs start, and, and the knee just starts to give away. Uh, and the robot topples over. Jude, get back. Yeah, yeah, Jude, the, the, the robot's threatening to fall on you. And the dude will move right away, man. Forget that, and I'm staying around for a wee little bug. All right, bunch of, just for kicks, let's make a, let's make a move roll. You might be, in, you, you'll be injured, you'll, you'll be injured if you don't succeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, so kids can't die, but they can. They can sure get hurt. Mine's broken. <laughs> you are now, in, you are now injured, Jude. <laughs> Like Mark, while Mark while injured. Running away, it catches me in the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. This one, oh, this big behemoth clips you. I really, I, I really didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, I'm really oh, sorry. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, Jude. Oh, the pain. <laughs> oh, maybe we should go. Oh, let's go home. <laughs> let's go. Please. Yeah. Take me to a doctor. We should help, <laughs> we should help Jude, Jude go home or I something. I see the light. <laughs> so cool. You see the light. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's so Jude, bright. Those, <laughs> they are just really the lights on, those are just the lights on the head of my robot, okay? Uh, these are industrial. <laughs> these are industrial. <laughs> oh, my God. This has gone so far south so fast. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we gotta get out of here, man. The robot's <laughs> done for. I'm not gonna be around for that. Yeah, the, the thing crashes and you hear another thud. As you kind of let the controls go over the other one, it just kind of lets its arms flow, you know, sit limply at its side. And uh, and uh, it, it, after like, just a few seconds of like not doing anything, its lights shut off. Oh. And as, I, as things get quiet, I think uh, we can hear like, dogs barking in the background <laughs> like <All> right <laughs> this is probably pre car alarms right so we're not hearing any car alarms i was off. thinking about that i was wondering yeah, about yeah, car alarms before, yeah. car alarms only car alarms slightly up to the 90s maybe that yeah. neighbor or two that's out there on their porch going hey did you hear that what is yeah. <laughs> god god damn it Cheryl, close the goddamn window and get back in here. <laughs> so where do we all go back to the light? The, the, I was about to say the lighthouse, the safe house? Um, yeah. Yeah, if you think it's not that bad, we can go to the... I'm okay. The... Uh, it just kind of like really stinks now and I can't really like... It just hurts is all. I'll be okay. Just give me some time. Like, like a give me a nap maybe or like a, give me a nap or like a really cold baloney <laughs> cold baloney yeah <laughs> well, if we can find some ice we can put it on your shoulder uh, oh I thought God. we were supposed to put ice directly on the a wound oh no okay that's what my mom says all right um, which one your real I've, mom or the magic one I've always one? I've always applied ice. I've always applied <laughs> ice. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah. So I. So I, I want. I want to consult you guys here I, before I make a make a move. So I, I really. Lo I love this way this is going. I, and we can continue, or I can throw in a hook, or we can just do like a. This can be like a day in the life type of, like a cool not do not do mysteries type of session, which I'm totally down with so i just want to get your pull you guys before i jump in and do anything that uh you would rather not do the session I, 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 
You're what? I'm a fish. You're a fish? You go with the flow? No, just give me them hooks. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I want to get hooked. So Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, so you guys are kind of deciding what the hell to do. Someone has to help Jude over over the uh, uh, the fence to even get out, and it's like this whole ordeal. It's like it it, it, must, it must look like this um, uh, Three Stooges thing. Like you know, his his <laughs> arm is hurt, so he has like two legs and an arm to work with. So you have to kind of push him over. But oh god, he's starting to get caught on the thing with his shirt, and oh my god. So okay, you get over and you push him up, and then I'll push him over and I'll catch you. Yeah, exactly. And after like. Get it, the robot. Get the robot. Yeah. After literally five minutes of this, finally we see Jude fall into Andy's arms, knocking him to the ground on the other side of the fence. <laughs> it's about then that uh, you you aren't even really you you're, you're so engrossed in what's happening here that you don't notice that about twenty feet away there's this person on what looks like some kind of Mad Max like put together motorcycle thing, but it was silent. You didn't hear a damn thing. And the person on the this back, is on the roadside, this is on the roadside. And the person in the back is wearing what looks like a costume. Uh, it's, 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 it's very tact, tact, tactile looking, tactical. Yeah. Tactical looking. It's black with orange splotches on it and stuff. Almost like a, uh, some kind of urban camouflage. And you hear the voice, you guys are the worst criminals ever. Let me show you how it's done. This person reaches to the belt, takes off this thing, tosses it at one of the robots inside, and you see it hit, and this bubble of energy forms around it, and suddenly it floats into the air. And it's, it's before you know it, it's like it's out of your vision. You can't see where the hell it is. How did you do that? Is it floated up in a way? Yeah, it floated up like into a, the sky, literally up into the sky in a way. It's like a gravitrine grenade or something. That was cool. Wild. Wild. And that's how Dark Vengeance does it. And then turns the thing around, and again, there's no sound. It's it's the only sound you hear is like is the sound that the the gravel makes under the tires as it zips away, and finally, it's basically it's in the darkness at this point. I was like from Death oh, Race 2000. He said his name was. I, I thought he was really cool, but then he told us his name, and then I'm like, well, maybe he's not that cool. <laughs> what was his name? Dark Vengeance? Yeah, I think that he said Dark Vengeance does things his own way or whatever. I don't really remember, to be honest. I just kind of got hung up on Dark Vengeance. <laughs> I'm just, picture, I'm just picturing South Park and uh, <laughs> Professor Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Chaos, yeah, totally. <laughs> well, I'm like, I'm just saying, I'm just envisioning this scene, and it's the worst, like supervillain sighting ever. It's like, yeah, not really cool. And what did they, what did they even say? I don't even remember. It wasn't memorable what they said. This is, I don't remember. What were we talking about? My my shoulder hurts. Supposed to be the coolest. <laughs> yeah, Alice says, uh, "I don't know what kind of super criminal he is, but he stole the broken robot." You think he's like Santa? <laughs> yeah, I think he's like Santa. Like the anti Santa. He's like a crime Santa. A crime Santa. <laughs> oh my God. I think we got to try to find him. For all Jude knows, that's a real thing too. Crime Santa makes sense. There's a good Santa. There must be an evil Santa. You know, yeah. it's logical for crime. Your house and steals your presents. We all live in duality. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do something with that other list. There's no such thing as a crime Santa. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey has to put down the law. I want you to know the facts about the situation. There is no crime Santa. At least we still have real Santa. At least what? At least we still have real Santa. Uh, and Krampus. Yeah. What is Krampus? <laughs> Mikey. Oh, <shit. laughs> Do I dash everything right now, or? 
I already, I already took away criminal Santa from him. Um, <laughs> Crime Santa. <laughs> hey, so maybe we should like go follow him. I think so. Let's chase after him. Okay. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are going for it. Heck yeah. yeah. Jude, Jude can't, he, Jude can't even swing his arms right because of his shoulder injury. He's like, ah. Oh. Ah, but he's like doing it anyway. He's like, ah, pain every step. I gotta do it though. I'll kill the guys. Come on, guys. Going. No guts, no glory. Oh, I don't want glory. I just want crime Santa. I just crime want crime Santa. Santa. Funny. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you run down the street trying to catch up, basically, it sounds like. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I would think we have our bikes, right? Do you? We probably rode our bikes here. That's a possible. I think we probably took our bikes to the the bookstore and then to the construction site. Not the bookstore, the video store. Those are different yeah. things. Gotcha. Yeah, I Alice think we're chasing on our bikes. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So Alice you. Is so you, yeah, you you definitely have the opportunity to start cruising. Um, you kind of you're pedaling with a with the fury known known by few other kids your age, and uh, as you uh, as you cruise along, you see some people on the side of the street like they must have seen this person too. Who is that? What the heck was that? It's Dark Vengeance. And where'd the garbage can go? You're like looking up at the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jude's like, dark, where'd Dark Vengeance go? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> People are all past me. <laughs> dark Vengeance. So, so, you, guys, you guys keep cruising so on. What, he floated your garbage can? Yeah, so you guys are already gone by the time... Unless Alice is going to like yeah. stop very actually quite curious about this. You guys are going to pass by the time there's an opportunity for an answer. I assume we did the same thing that he did to the robot. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as you guys cruise on, uh, you will eventually find your way uh, past the uh, Infinity Connection, the comic book store. And the thing that catches your eye and has you stop there, you basically this this person is now out of your out of your sight, but there are several <sighs> flyers tacked up outside it on phone poles. Uh, Dark Vengeance, the comic book. Inquire inside, and it's done, <laughs> and it's done up on on like uh, photocopied paper. So this is not a professional job by any means. Let's go in. Okay. Is this? Does he? Is he here? Does he does he work here? We'll find out. I've never been okay. in here. Yes. Jude not understanding the concept of a secret supervillain, but we're going to get to that <laughs> soon enough. Uh, so yeah, yeah so, so you guys you guys walk in, you know, you pop your bikes outside. I'll take a picture of the flyers. I also oh. forgot that I was supposed to be taking pictures. I also oh, took a picture good. of a, a robot fight. Nice, perfect. Throws it in there. Very, very Mikey. So yeah, you guys walk in and there are, you can't, it's again, it's, it's your standard uh, comic book shop. Uh, they have, you know, rows and rows of comic books. If you go in the back, you'll see one whole rack of role-playing games. Uh, something to pick, to point out is this is at the relative height of the satanic panic where role-playing games were considered devil worship by many because shit's got out of hand. There are like, you know, people talking about, you know, various places where involved in devil worship and eating, eating and sacrificing babies and blood sacrifice and orgies, etc. And it all came back to those damn role playing games because people didn't know the difference between reality and not reality. Uh, so there's, there is, however, a little rack there of, uh, in, in, uh, nerd, uh, protest of the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, you see like, you know, some Star Frontiers, you know, a D&D, &D, you know, one book over there, 
you see some probably some top secret and some uh, you know steve jackson games out there and their little hard plastic packs some car wars some torg all the good stuff ninja turtles Teenage Mutant ninja turtles system. all the good stuff from the day uh but uh, the thing that catches your eye at the front is uh, a stack of what looks like stapled together photocopied sheets of a like a a not untalented comic drawer but definitely not a pro but someone's like drawn a comic and photo made photocopies of it and stapled it together and there's a it's sitting on the front uh desk for front like a uh, checkout counter uh with a little folded piece of cardboard over it that says 50 cents a copy oh look here it is uh, Alice looks at it and says, hey, I've seen this guy in class. I've, I've seen this Samuel Liu. I've seen this guy drawing in class. Is it, and uh, it's, uh, is this the, uh, sorry, what, what's the guy's name? Dark? Dark Vengeance. Dark Vengeance. Dark Vengeance. Dark Vengeance comic book. Hey, does he work here? So the uh, the guy behind the counter. I don't all, think Dark <laughs> work at a comic book store. Dude, do behind, do behind the counter is like, guys, there's no browsing like that. If you wanna, if you want it, you pay for it. Oh, but it's here, right? I get this. Okay, it's fifty cents a piece. Okay, I mean, I get these for free, but I'm still selling for 50, fifty cents a piece. People seem to like them. You go, you go to the okay. combined school, right? Everybody at the school's reading these. Yeah, what do you mean? Um, you get them for free. who gives you these? Does he work here, Dark Vengeance? Okay, so maybe here's where I have to have the little talk with you, kid. So, yeah, comic books, it's kind of like a criminal Santa, right? They aren't real, and there is no such thing as criminal Santa. Hopefully, someone's told you that. By the way, there's no such thing as a real See? Santa. <laughs> what do you mean? Stop. See, now I know you're making things up. I just wanted to say thank you to Criminal Santa. He he looks at you guys. Will someone please give me 50 cents so I don't have to talk to this kid anymore? There. <laughs> he takes 50 cents, gives you a, presents Jude and or Andy with the copy very gingerly and then goes back to minding the store, probably restocking some stuff. Looks like looks like there's a bunch of cardboard boxes of, you know, actual comics that have come in. Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, I think, is out by this time, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you wouldn't happen to have seen somebody in real life that looks just like this guy, have you? No. Comic book characters don't exist. And really, kid, well, you're well, giving this know. place a bad name. I'm fighting it. You know how much money I've been losing because people think you're all freaking devil worshippers because you like the Marvel, you like the DC. Do you worship the devil? Okay, kid, you're out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of my store. <laughs> Get out of my store. Oh, okay. All out. right. And, well, and Andy's gonna, gonna Andy's gonna Andy's gonna point at the uh, the copy of the player's handbook and the copy of the dungeon master's guide and say. Uh, so what's depicted on the cover of those two books? Is it a demon? You're not helping this at all, kid. <laughs> it's artwork. It's beautiful, beautiful artwork. <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> you guys need anything else? Do I need to point you in the right direction? Do I need to help get this little guy out of here? Well, let me try and clarify this a bit. Uh, he's he's you know, like, no, there is no criminal Santa. Do you know anybody who likes to dress up like this guy? And uh, it's that point that uh, the guy is about to give you the exact same riot that he just got done giving uh, Jude. And it's just about that time that a couple kids from your school, probably actually your age or younger, I would say actually Mikey's age or younger, are like, Dude, that Dark Vengeance is totally real. And at this point, the guy, the guy behind the counter, who the owner of the store, apparently just turns away, and he's he's done with this whole conversation. Uh, but the other kids, are, yeah, Dark Vengeance is real, man. Serious. 
I've seen Have him. You seen him too? Yeah, yeah, we both seen him, right? Right, Jake? Like when? Because we just saw him. No, you didn't. Where? Yeah, he took our robot. <laughs> He's like, you took your robot. Oh, it wasn't our robot, but yeah, he took well, robots. I mean, he broke in and used it. Donna, actually, don't 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 tell everybody everything, Jude. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want that. Yeah. yeah. So. When did you when did you see Dark Vengeance and where did you see him? Well, it was like a week ago, and on this kid's house, he used this uh, spray can, like to spray DV on the on the front door and uh, on the uh, on the garage door. DV, oh, Dark Vengeance. Dark Vengeance. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, just like, on the one house. Whose uh, house was it? It was uh, it was Davy Walker. Davy Walker is one of the one of the town rich kids. He immediately rings a bell with all of you. Mm. And he's not a very nice rich kid either. He's the stereotypical I have shit and you don't, therefore you suck. He has one of the most awesomest computers ever, and he doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> I was over to his house once. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, where are you? So the, the the kids uh, the kid I'm gonna so the kids kind of bring you off to the side they're like hey guys get, get out of here we don't let's get away from this dude so the two kids that you're talking to bring you outside the stop the shop and it's dark by now you know completely dark and there's like uh, the lights outside you know how it has those like down downward aiming lights to let you see the sidewalks so you don't trip over it as you come into the store and uh, they start opening up their backpack and taking out comics on a stack of them and yes. Yes, says Dr. Ocularis, uh reggae beat telling us that it is time for the break. So let's do that as the guys uh, take okay. out their comics and start showing you their, their their collection that they have. And we'll see you in 10. Please don't. No more. Right. No more, please. No more, reggae. <laughs> see you at 10. All right. Okay. All right. And we're back from our break. So yeah, uh, there's uh, these couple kids. Uh, you know, again, how old is how old is Mikey again? Thirteen. Seventeen. Thirteen. <laughs> He's thirteen, but uh, these kids are like thirteen or twelve, and they're both doing the whole, um, I think, like leather jacket thing, like Highlander or something like that. Maybe that's what they're going for, the early Highlander cosplay, and. Uh, uh, they break out their backpacks, open it up, and sure as heck, there's like a stack of has to be like fifteen uh, editions of this uh, photocopied comic book put together. Like all different, well, editions. fifteen separate editions. Yeah, fifteen separate comic books. Yeah. Cool. Wow, you guys have been collecting for a long time. Yeah, ever since it first came out, man. We we saw them around here. We just had to get them. What do you say? I just found out he was a thing now. Yeah, well, you you guys relate to the party. There was a party. He means we didn't. We're like the last to find out. And the the one of them just kind of lets the lets the explanation go and continues. <laughs> like. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, take a look at these real quick. But I, I'm, I'm not letting them on my site. They're they're valuable to me. It's like it's like we have all the superhero comic books, but this is a super villain, and it's a super villain right here in Ninawake. Jude is definitely going to take a real good peek through these books. Yeah. So you... Alice, Alice picks one up when she's looking at it, and she says, "So, so do you know? Do you know the?" Artist Samuel, you know him? Samuel Liu? Yeah, I've seen him at school. I've seen him drawing his notebook. Yeah, yeah, you know him? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, w I was hoping to get these autographed. Maybe you could hook me up. Well, I don't know him real well, but he's in a couple of classes I'm in. Girl, don't tease me. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, I got to think a Sam, uh, Samuel Lou autograph is probably worth something. Um, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alice is not picking where the hell Andy is putting down. <laughs> meaning, meaning, meaning that, meaning that, if you're going to do this for them, you know, it's probably, you know, worth something. You know, either like they pay you for it or give you information about where the uh, real guy is maybe i don't know oh, that's actually a good point hey if we if we were to you know meet you someplace could we talk could we arrange to talk to him with you for like five bucks we'll give you five bucks i got five bucks to do what just to arrange a meeting we just want to meet him and get his, get his autograph oh samuel yeah what about Darth vengeance Man, Dark Vengeance scares the hell out of me. I don't know. Oh, you're collecting. Uh, he's kind of like a criminal. Uh, he's kind of like a criminal Santa. He's pretty cool. Like, is that a supervillain? Criminal Santa? Is that DC yeah. or Marvel? Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, but right. Let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> it's Jude. <laughs> <laughs> Origin story: Criminal Santa. Also known as Jude Walker. <laughs> so, uh, who, who's going to look through the ones that they're, they're they're proffered to you for a quick see? Yeah. Well, I I want I want to look. I especially want to look at the first one. I want I want to I want to look up Dark Vengeance's origin story. So it's Dark Vengeance's origin story seems like a very much. It's a someone was very uninspired. Uh, so it's a very Batman esque type of thing. There's, there's a like a cave or a, some kind of shed or something that Dark Vengeance works out of. Oh, that Dark kind of Vengeance thing. Shed. Dark the the DVS. Uh, <laughs> and uh, as you kind of look through it, uh, it, it's kind of one of those where it shows you like present day, but it, then you see in flashbacks like the origin story and yeah and. Uh, it, it, it it's like it, it this is very much it's a super villain and the by the strict definition of a super villain they do illegal things and they you know people are hurt and that property is damaged but kind of as alice reads into it it looks like the the flashbacks are dark vengeance beaten up by this kid who later come becomes this multimillionaire and you know it's like you know Lex Luthor type of thing, but you know, oh it helps the world and suddenly Dark Vengeance is all over them and destroying their building and stuff like that. And it's very much stuff like that. Dark Vengeance's parents were horrible to Dark Vengeance, so uh, you know, they they had little to do but but pick up uh you know book smarts and there's even a scene where they pick up uh they they open they open up this this lab this weird lab called deldrin and they go in and uh pick up some equipment that was left there like forgotten about type of thing and that's where their costume came from this is honestly really sad dark vengeance costume uh so kid uh, by the way, I like your dark leather jacket. Really cool. I oh, like thanks, thanks, girl. Hey, what are you let doing me, Saturday night? Let me hang on to this one. <laughs> let me hang on to the origin story book, and I'll get it signed for you. Hey, how about I pick it up when I pick you up on Saturday night? Busy on Saturday. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey cockbox immediately. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday is oh, Halloween. Dude. Pick you up. I know the best Halloween. roots, girl. I know the best roots. I'll get you the Snickers like you ain't seen before. I tell you what. Oh, do you get the big bars? I'm going to hang on to this comic book. I'm going to get it signed. And I'll meet you back here at the comic shop on Halloween night. It's a date, girl. We'll see you. It's not a date. The other, the other kid, they're walking away, and the other kid's like, "Yeah, it's totally a date." 
<laughs> Alice, you got a date. Alice has a boyfriend. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> we have entered into this game, and it's not ending right way. <laughs> what I have is a sucker on a leash. A <laughs> sucker on a leash. So a date. <laughs> Is that how all your dates went, Scott? <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, Andy, uh, pick, uh, go uh, move your camera down just a little bit. I'm barely seeing your head there. Stop, stop like this. I want to see all your beautiful faces. That's important. That's better. That. Perfect, perfect. You're all good. Yep. Stop like this. Just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> good times i think we lost him there's gonna be a point where anybody watching this is gonna wonder what the heck <laughs> they'll have to watch other episodes yeah, yeah it's good times good times uh okay uh all right uh we gotta talk to samuel uh, i mean yeah. he you know he, he made this guy up well supposedly but, we saw uh, 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 Samuel knows more than he's putting in this comic book. Uh, really? Anybody know him? Anybody know where he lives? Well, we can, we really can see him at school, school tomorrow at lunchtime. Well, we can look in the phone book and see if there's any um, more than only one. <laughs> Lou? Oh, so there aren't many Chinese people in Netawaki is what you're saying, Andy. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you do look in the phone book there are not many lose i can tell you that but yes they exist they do Far exist viewers, the phone book is a book that... <laughs> it's like the internet where you can look up people's names and phone numbers associated and mm. and, and their addresses maybe even yeah <laughs> Just Google it. Just Google yeah, it. And, and uh, Mikey, I hate to be, I, 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 I hate to ask this question, but do you know the Lou family? <laughs> <laughs> In robotics too? Um, <laughs> now, just so I'm not confused here, the ki the rich kid, that's not the same kid who draws the comics, right? No. No, okay. All right. Um uh yeah, we we have met uh like once or twice, but you know, I mean just like through school, not mm -hmm. you know, like parent teacher conferences. I think my parents sat with his parents. We they were talking. I don't know. I we didn't I I don't know him that well. You know where he lives? Can we, can um, we knock on his door? Peek in his yeah. window? Actually, I have been there before. Uh, my mom cooked something for them at one point. They, like, I don't know, had a illness or something, and we dropped off food. So, yeah. Cool. Why, don't we just, why don't we swing by and just... You know, kind of check out, uh, see if we can say hi. Yeah, if you guys want to, then yeah, Mikey can lead the way on the bike. Hey. Um, I don't know where I have to go here, but uh, <laughs> we're at Infinity Connection right now. We're probably headed towards the suburbs. Yep, um, definitely. Where Where would you say that uh, his uh, house is? Ping it on the uh, map. Yeah, probably like I don't know, uh, under the B somewhere in the second B in suburbs. Like so, ish. Yeah, yeah, like there. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that doesn't take you all that long to get to. You know, there's it's you're you're you pretty much break out of downtown. Traffic dies down a bit. You're now in the burbs. A lot of cookie cutter houses here and there, uh, 
more as you kind of move outward it was again as as the the center of the city was more you know this this was the downtown at one point type of thing how's jude looking how's his shoulder he's still injured nobody nobody's uh nobody's nobody's comforted him all yet so he's still a hurt little puppy yeah if anyone if anyone can actually see his shoulder there's probably a really nice purple and blackish bruise that's forming under there is that one of the things that we can help heal with lead? Yes. Yep. That's one of the uses of lead. So I want to. I want to try that. Okay. You're you gonna like lead? I thought you said weed. Weed. <laughs> weed takes away the pain. Weed. <laughs> weed. <laughs> That's a different game. Let me ask Rigby. <laughs> yeah, guys, Rigby. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so are you gonna like do it on the bikes? You guys are riding. You suddenly you kind of like slow down to go even with them, and you say something or give him a yeah, pep or talk. I figure, or... I figure we we might actually like um, get you know stop like right as we get to the house, and maybe I'll try you know my father's acupressure technique or something, and see if I can help him that way too. So. Sure, it can even be as much you know like a like a talk, something to comfort him. Hey, dude, oh. you're you're tough, okay. and we know it. You know that kind of thing. No, it, but it can be, but it can be dressing the wound. It can be whatever. This it's very, you know, like a sling or something. Yeah, sling even. You know, whatever. I'm, well, I'm, yeah. So it'll be a transitional thing, like starting to talk to him, and then we get off the bike, and then I'll do physical whatever I can. But uh, yeah, hey uh, Jude, I, I noticed that like you're having to hold your arm up a lot, and uh, uh, I just want to say uh, it's really awesome, like how far you can come on this, uh, and um, it, you're really strong. You're a really strong guy. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, it's impressive. Like I think I, I think I would have wanted to go home by now. So I'm really impressed. And do you, do you want me to look at that for you? I I can. Oh yeah, please if you if you could. Uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It just kind of really hurts a lot. So uh, <laughs> whatever, I'll just keep moving. I mean, it hurts, but like uh, it doesn't hurt as much as not being around your friends right now would be. So I'm like, hey, let's still go out. But like, oh man, it just kind of really hurts a lot. <laughs> okay. Sh- shock has set in. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm gonna try that. I uh, roll a lead. Hey, hey, uh, Jude. Yeah. Before Mikey yeah. does anything, uh, yeah. you wanna you want me to take a picture of the bruise? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> She's gonna take a picture of my bruise. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> my bruise yeah. Yep. Good old Polaroid. There you go. All right. Let's All right. See going in the scrapbook oh Oh, no no lead not happen uh so as you're kind of are you gonna check anything or anything like that yeah i'll i'll try a luck point okay do you have more luck i have two oh cool i just reduced it now one yeah oh yeah go ahead and uh, do it used any luck yet tonight remember yeah awesome yeah go ahead hey all right i got one all right, so yeah, whatever Mike does, you, you know, uh, Jude kind of feels the, you know, pressure on it, and it, this is like, you know, him kind of talking to you and you know telling you how you, he was, you know, looking up to you a bit, that he would have gone home hurting when you stuck it out. You're a tough guy, and suddenly, you know, it really doesn't hurt that much anymore. It's just a bruise. You're a big boy now. You know, you can take it. Just a- you don't cry at the doctor anymore when you get an injection of any or inoculation. You know, you're not that kid anymore. You're big. You're bigger. Uh, so yeah, you, you can you can remove your uh, your condition there. Injured is gone. Hey, you know what's perfect about that? I never put it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so yes, Jude is Jude is, uh, and it's not quite healed per se, but it doesn't make any difference anymore. It's in the it's in the background of Jude's mind. So, uh, what, what, would that, what does uh, uh, having a condition mark do for you? You it's lose it, like your die roll, yeah. You lose one die oh. every, for every condition marked, okay. So, you can actually go to okay. zero dice from having enough conditions potentially and basically be unable to do the thing. 
Yes. No, I was just <laughs> like unable to do it. Uh, uh, help me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you guys arrive at the house. Right now, you're it's getting towards the cookie cutters, but these do look different enough at this point. So, what uh, what do you guys do? You guys go up to like the front door, you know, look in a window. What you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll just go to the front door. I mean, that's pretty, that's the respectful thing to do. So. Okay. Ho- hopefully, the porch lights on. Yeah, like def- they're still it- expecting visitors. It or is open to having visitors. You guys ever played Ding Dong Ditch? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no. Maybe we want to let stay here. What's that? It's, it's where you ring the doorbell and you go run and hide. Oh. Why would we do that? I don't think we need that. Why would we, maybe do, we can that? do that? Yeah. Maybe we can do that after this. I was just asking. Well, why would you knock on somebody's door if they don't want to talk to them? Well, it's funny because then you, you watch them open the door and they look around and there's nobody there. Oh, after you run away, oh. you watch. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a ghost. Yeah. That's totally what they think. Maybe, maybe we can, after we're done here, we could go do it to that Walker kid's house. Yeah. I'm, I'm still in. super pumped. He's, <laughs> all this, all this uh, drilling still flowing. There's no outlet for it yet. The, the the robot fights were unimpressive, you know. But uh, sure were. They were impressive. <laughs> but yeah, you guys you guys knock on the door and uh, woman answers. Um, uh, she's she's not Chinese or anything. She is uh, white, or so it seems. And she's you know she's actually blonde. And again, this maybe this shocks you. He doesn't. It's like oh my god, his name's Lou. Uh, she comes to the door and then another guy comes behind and he is Chinese, a man. It's like, uh, honey, who's at the door? Oh, uh, some kids. Hey. And she kind of sticks her head out. You, you kids know it's not trick or treat till Saturday, right? I mean, we have some stuff. I'm going to feel bad if that's what oh. you're here for. Oh, no, no, my God, man. I totally thought, uh, I got them. I got them already. Uh, do you have candies? Yes. Does it look like we're in costume? <laughs> well, Alice does. <laughs> Which is what I thought it would be funny if she asked the <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, they look Alice up and down. It's like, mm-hmm. it's a tough judgment call. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Lou. Uh, so Alice, Alice holds up the comic book and says, look, we just we're at the comic book shop and we were really impressed with uh, Samuel's book and we were wondering if we could you know, talk to him and get it signed. Oh, the the dad's like, oh, oh, I remember. Yeah, he said he'd been drawing some of those. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you look like good kids. It's good to have fans. Why don't you come on in? And he's like, uh, yeah, like come around. And... In international incidents or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're criminals of any kind. I mean, Man, I wish I had a fan right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, they, they need to chip in and buy you an air conditioner, dude. That's <laughs> God, it's, it's right here. That's it. It's just really loud. <laughs> oh, oh, you have it off right now? Yeah, it has to because of the yeah. sound it makes. Oh. It's just, ooh, hold on, let me. Here's the difference. You hear that whenever I speak the the giant fan in the back? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not we... good. Yeah, it's like. I'm sorry, Robert. You gotta suffer for a little longer. It's okay. It's honestly, I'm kind of like a, used to it by now, man. I've been like 20 years, 22 actually. I don't know how I forgot my own age. It's been like 20 years in AZ, man. I'm cool. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hang in there. So what is it, 20 or 22? 22. I like okay. it. It's 22. <laughs> All right. So back to Samuel. Back to Samuel. So the, the both parents are kind of, you know, intrigued that someone wants to come over and see their kids' art. So they both kind of guide you in. Uh, they push you towards the room uh, where Samuel's in, and uh, they hey, and the dad's like, "Hey, uh, yeah, the kid's been out for a bit. Um, can I get you some uh, something to drink? I got some cokes." Do you have like a sparkling water? I have some cokes. Um, Got some normal water, tap water. I'll take a coke. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll take a Coke. I'll take a, I'll yeah, take a Coke. Yeah, he'll new Coke. New Cokes. <laughs> he'll hand them all around. And uh, you go into Samuel's room. And so Samuel, uh, where the night you realize this, he is wheelchair bound. Uh, he, uh, he, you know, every time you see him at school, etc. He, he doesn't, um, uh, you've never seen him out of it except for swimming class where he has basically, you know, gotten out and gotten into the water where basically is, you know, he was in control of himself, you know, fully with, you know, being in the, in the water, being a third the weight, et cetera, et cetera, and moving through this fluid. Um, but otherwise he is wheelchair bound. Uh, Can I investigate his room? While we're in there, uh, after you, you take some time to look at it, sure, but take it take some time first to kind of you have, you'll have to kind of peek around a little bit, see what's around, and then we can do the investigate thing. He's not Dark Avenger, by the way. Yeah, he's not Dark Avenger. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so the Has so the anybody ever seen Dark Avenger off of his motorcycle? <laughs> Well, I don't know how you'd work the gears on the motorcycle without use of your legs. It's not a normal motorcycle. I can tell you that. So, Samuel is surprised to see you. Oh, he's here? Yeah, he's there. Hi, Samuel. They they wouldn't let you into a dude's room if he wasn't there. It's like, yeah, my kid's gone. Why don't you just hang out in his room for a while? These complete strangers we don't know. Investigate your son's room. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, Samuel's there. He's like, hey... Oh, Mikey, hey. do you remember me, Mikey? Yeah, Mikey yeah, and we, Alice, so right? So we yeah, we're we're in uh, uh, we're we're in uh, uh, English class together. Uh, so he was actually drawing on his on his uh, desk as you guys came in. He kind of pulls yeah. himself away and faces you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of weirded out right now that you're here in the late night. I mean, like, what's going on, guys? Did you need like homework? notes or something <laughs> no i uh, uh i pull out the you know the comic book and say we were just at the comic book shop and we you know we uh see that you're drawing this book and it's it looks really cool uh but the other curious thing is we've seen somebody who claims to be your character uh, he he looks at. I'm curious you. if you have any idea what's going on. Yeah, he looks at he looks at you guys over and he kind of purses his lips and. Yes, I mean. Yeah, it, at first it was cool to kind of listen to the stories and you know write things out, but um, this is kind of a little scary, guys. I'm I think I'm not going to probably be writing any more Dark Vengeance anytime soon. What happened? Well, yeah, I mean, Dark Vengeance is real, man, and come again. Which, which came first? Yeah, he's like Criminal Santa. It's like Criminal Santa. What is <laughs> it's that? A long story. That's that's a whole other story. Maybe you know. What? Maybe we can work on that later. So did you get Dark Vengeance, or did you see him and then do the comic book? Well, I met Dark Vengeance and did the comic book. Oh, you know, I thought it was. Where'd you meet him? I thought it was cool. I mean, Dark Vengeance takes out the assholes at school, man. You know, I mean, yeah, they break stuff or vandalize or whatever, but they kind of have it coming, right? I mean, how many times have you been picked on? How many times has, you know, he kind of, he kind of gestures to his chair. It's like, do you know how many times I've been at lunch, you know, and then I, I start to, you know, pull away from the table and find out that there's actually oil on the ground around me and I'm, I'm, I can't move and stuff. Those jerks did that to me. And, and those jerks are the ones that Dark Vengeance takes out, does stuff to. It was cool at first, but it's getting scary now, man. Well, hmm. I mean. You, it's like an eye for an eye, right? It, it, everybody's blind at the end. It's not always, you know, it's not good to fight back when, I Have mean, you... maybe fight back, but I mean, maybe don't like do it so violently. It's more like a, hey man, that's not kind of, it's kind of not cool what you're doing. Don't do that, please. Kind of a thing. Yeah. But, 
Keith Soup ask about about this? What is when Dark Vengeance takes one of these bullies out? What do you mean? Well, they've just been, you know, vandalizing stuff, a car, a garage. But it's I think it's about to go further. I mean, last week one of the one of the cool kids at school has ass kicked. I mean, kicked. I mean, like they were in at school for like three days, and that was Dark Vengeance. And I mean, that person was a jerkwad, but I talked to him. And how do you know it was Dark Vengeance? Because she told me. She? Hmm. It's like I don't even want what. What are, what are you guys gonna do? What what am I gonna do about it? I I gotta tell somebody. Nobody's listening to me. My parents will listen. Well, lucky for you, we're what we call problem solvers. We're kind of like the <laughs> Ghostbusters, but like Scooby Doo too. <laughs> He kind of looks at Jude, just kind of completely like, you know, he's like, that's the crazy one of the group. <laughs> Definitely living up to the weirdo moniker. But, uh, yeah, so he, he's like, yeah, she's, there's a party that's going to happen, Halloween party on Saturday night, and she's going to be there, and she's going to mess them up. I think she's going to hurt a lot of people and I'm scared. And I, I'm okay. At first, like I said, I was like, it was bullies and it was the bastards. It was people who had it coming, you know, but maybe they don't have that much coming, you know, like, I don't know what to do. This person, this uh, girl you're talking about is dark vengeance. Yeah. Uh You know her alter ego? Cool. Yeah, but I mean, I, have I told you too much? I mean, do I need to tell you guys? So, uh, well, if you want, if you want help stopping her, I guess you're gonna have to. You can trust. We're professionals. <laughs> we're professionals. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's like we, the police don't. I mean, they, they just think it's, you know, kids having fun, just kids doing stuff, and it's in Milwaukee, so it's like, how how bad can it get, right? So the cops don't care. My parents won't even listen. I've tried to tell them about this, and they're like, you know, whatever, it's not real, you're dreaming about it. You know, they're on the verge of calling me a devil worshiper for writing my comic book, but it's the only way I can, like, tell people about this. Do you, yeah, do you know, know if she's know telekinetic? She's... No. That's, there's no such thing, man. Um, well, maybe not, but maybe so. She got her hands on some loop tech, man, and a bunch of it does weird stuff. Stuff like they didn't. I'm sorry, in, what, what, what kind of tech? Loop, Eldrin tech. Loop tech. Okay. And it's oh. like I. They, it's not what it's meant to be used for, but she's using it. So that's how she's making things float and fly and other stuff huh? yeah i've seen the float grenades before yeah mm. so, That's a do you know what so happens to the stuff that goes up that high no yeah you know what happens to a hot air balloon fall? that just keeps going up and it gets carried on wind well, eventually the balloon runs out of air and it kind of comes out down to the ground. And the way the wind goes, and he goes, oops, he was losing. Oop, Jude's coming back. What? What? We lost Jude there for a second. Hold on. You get... Okay. All right, Jude's back. It's okay. Yeah. So he's like, you know, the way the wind blows, that goes over Lake Michigan. Oh, and so it just drops into the lake then? Yeah. What do you think happens to a person? Same damn thing, dude. Wait, and she, she load people? Not yet, man. What are is anybody you guys even listening? You guys understand what I'm saying? She's maybe gonna do some bad stuff here. She hasn't done it yet, but she's just about to, and Saturday yeah. night's the night. Halloween. Okay. Uh maybe we could talk to her. We certainly Before can't Halloween. go to the cops. They never listen useless well 
yeah, just tell us who she is and we could maybe scope out her is this, house. Is this, is this backstory, this origin story in the comic book? Is any of this true? Does any of this describe who she is and what happened to her? Are you asking me or are you asking Samuel? Who are you asking? I'm asking Samuel. Oh, Samuel. Yeah, have you looked at it yet? Yeah, she means she got bullied yeah. and then she went out to get some vengeance. That's it. And she's got this secret lair shed. Do you know where that is? I know where she lives. I don't know where the lair is. The lair. <laughs> what if you sabotage your bike? Uh, maybe let's just kind of stop her from hurting people. Yeah, I think we should go talk to her. Or figure out, well, so so what about trying to figure out her loop tech stuff? Like, we got to find the source of her power first. Mm. Well, I mean, that's probably we in talk her, to her secret her lawyer shed. Well, if we watch her house, maybe we can trail her, you know, follow her Ooh. to her lair. Well, maybe. You guys aren't and scared? When she's, when she's not at her lair, then we could sneak in. Like, she leaves her lair as Dark Vengeance, then we sneak in. Well, I mean, of course we're scared, man. It's just kind of like, well, who else is going to do it? Yeah. I suppose you're right. I'm scared, man. I'm not going. I can't do it. Yeah, it's don't worry. You don't have it's... to. Well, we'll spook... look into her. You're spooking oh, me yeah. out. We'll look into her as long as you sign the co this copy of your <laughs> book. <laughs> he, he just shakes his head and he reaches out and takes it. Signs on there on the on the front. And uh, he's... Um... he's He's like, you can't confront her at school, though. You got to promise me, because that she could just lose it and sure. start going all over at well, school. You know what I mean? For the party or something, I don't know, but you know. So tonight's Thursday. Halloween is Saturday. We have a whole day to track her down, figure out stuff about her. Hey, right. Uh, Alex. Well, she might even be at the Alex. lair right now. Alice Wonder Spring. This is all in whispers. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> <laughs> all yes. whispers except for that one. Okay. <laughs> gotta get gotta get uh, uh um, weren't you supposed to get him to uh to like that meet and greet at the at the comic shop? Oh, to take this comic back oh, to that guy? The kid, that who, kid? The, the kid who had this book? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. When when did I say we were going to do that? I don't remember. Was it Friday, Saturday? It was Halloween, right? It's gonna yeah, be Halloween, Halloween, Saturday. Yeah, well, let's, let's not worry about that. Don't be I say a lot more important that we, I you didn't know, make the deal. find Dark Vengeance and talk to her. I say uh, Samuel tells us who she is. We go over to her house at night, tomorrow night, or right before night. We follow her to well, her lair. After school. She's a student at her school. Let's if we can identify her at school, we can follow her home from school. Yeah, or but what we really want to find out is her powers and stuff, right? Isn't that what Andy said? It's technology. Well, yeah, I kind of want to figure out what the source of her power is like. Is there is it something that we can disable or steal or prevent? Because really, without that, she's you know just like us, right? She's not going to be able to do anything. But it's those powers that we have to figure out. You know what I'm saying? Or find out a way to counter it. Yeah, like if there's a kryptonite of some sort. Like an anti-anti-grav. Like a grav. <laughs> like a grav. <laughs> so, uh... There's some, way to, there's some way to pop that bubble as soon as it's made. 
So Samuel is like, I'll tell you who it is, but you got to promise me you don't talk to her at school. You don't confront her at school. It's outside of school. You got me? You got to promise me that. Yeah, cross my heart and do that. I promise. All right. It's Dark Vengeance is Katie Farrell. Katie Farrell? Yeah, I'm thinking Andy knows her. Uh, she's about 15, maybe even in Andy's class. Uh, she's kind of like that country hick um, that's smart. She could totally take apart a car engine, even at this age, and put it back together and stuff like that. Uh, that she's that kind of smart. Um, okay. And because she's she's like the country hick, she's always wearing hand-me-down clothes. She's the smelly kid. You you know she's been picked on you know, pretty regularly throughout high school and probably before. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of been her life. Okay. Yeah, I, I know her. I mean, I mean, I don't know her, know her, but I know who she is. I mean, she's in the same grade as me, and um, I've had her in a couple of classes. And yeah, I, I can see where she probably uh, she's gotten picked on a lot, and probably um, you know got pushed to 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 pushed over the edge. You know what I'm saying? So um, so let's. Uh, Let's probably ignore her at school tomorrow. Well, like we wouldn't anyways, but, um, you know, maybe tomorrow night we figure out a way to sort of scope, scope out the situation, see if we can see where she goes. Cool. Um, Mikey, okay. Mikey feels bad. Mikey feels bad for her. Like, never really paid attention to her, but, like, is really in... Um, oh not necessarily awe but like he's he's jealous of like that tinkerer side of things right like he, he doesn't seem to be able to really master that side of it so like he's and he is envious like almost thinking like boy i wish she could join our group you know that sort of thing cool so if you guys want we can zip ahead in time um, I'm going to say you guys know where she lives. Um, Andy has probably been by there once or twice. Um, she might have even been involved in like a sports team uh, as, you know, uh, you know, at some point or another. So maybe he was collecting stuff, but my, uh, Andy knows where she lives. Okay. So if hey you guys, guys want, we can, if you guys want, we can skip ahead to the next night after school and you guys can start staking the place out. Is that your, that sounds like your plan? Mm-hmm. Cool. We'll hide in the bushes or something. I love bush hiding. I love bush hiding. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hi -ya. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so it's another dark night. Uh, the this the sun the sun the moon is out. Uh, it's not quite a full moon, but getting there. So it's uh it's it's dark, but there is a good amount of natural light coming down. Um, and you guys are probably staked out like some kind of commandos in the bushes yeah. right near her home type of thing. Uh, Tried to wear all black. If she's the, if she's this, uh, your describer is this sort of hick. Uh, so where does she live? Is she like out at the edge of the suburb? No, she's, you're, you guys are out in the farm. You guys are out in the farmland. You guys are right around. Okay. Uh, I would so say. We're way out there. Yeah, you're you're ways out. You're out. You're definitely outside yeah. of the suburb area. You're still in Ninawake. Ninawake is, she, uh, is yeah. decently large, but yeah, is she a, is she a student who rides the school bus into school and back? Yes. Yep. She would definitely be like a school uh, a bus rider. He probably picks up along a route, that type of thing, and brings everybody yeah. in and in the reverse at night. Wow. That kind of thing. Okay. Hey, you got, hey guys, while we're here, you want to do some cow tipping? <laughs> and no, always looking for the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not even say that word around Jude. <laughs> oh no. What's cow tipping? <laughs> the, the inevitable question. Ain't you never been cow tipping? Uh, you do? Wouldn't they just get back up? <laughs> uh how are you how would you they're so big. Well, you got to kind of brace and put your shoulder into it and push it right over. Wouldn't they kick you? 
No, no, not if you, not if you're on, the, not if you're on well, the. Why would you hurt the cow? He's so it won't nice. hurt him. He doesn't do anything. It won't hurt <laughs> he didn't do anything. <laughs> it's just fun. Like, anyway, you want, if you want to go yeah. tip cows, you go tip cows. I'm gonna go. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, keep an eye. What, what's her, her name? Is what's her name? Farrell. Somebody. Katie Farrell. Katie, Katie, Katie Farrell. Farrell. Katie. Is this Farrell or Farrell, like a Farrell animal? Not that version, no. Pharaoh. Farrell. F e r r. What was it? F a r r e l l. Oh. Okay. Farrell's like, I- Farrell's ice cream parlor. Oh, all right, so you, if you want to tip cows, you can go tip cows. I'm going to go uh, keep an eye on Katie Farrell. Don't tip cows, please. They're just trying to live, living their best okay, cow life. Okay, we tip cows. I was just <laughs> They're just living their best cow life. Well, I suppose they are. That's actually a Jude truism right there. So, so let's see. have to sneak, or does one person do that? Or? So let's, let's do this. Um... I'll say one person can do an investigate from here. If you want to get more information, somebody's going to have to sneak closer to get a better view. And that'll be a, that'll be a sneak stealth, whatever. And then we can kind of figure out from there what's going on. I've got a one for sneak Sneak closer. Yeah, me too. Okay. Does anyone want to just investigate here or do we want to just go straight for getting a better uh, perch on things? Let's investigate here first probably, huh? Okay. How about Alice? Whatever you guys say. Yeah, Alice, you've been you've been the one pushing for investigate. So why don't you why don't you take a, a look see now that you've been here for a little while? I believe in you. Uh, investigate. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. You got one success. So you get two questions okay. out of that list. All right, and we're doing this from the bushes so far. Yeah, you're. It's dark. You're across the. I'll say you're like across the way in the bushes across the street, and you know there's bushes everywhere. You're in the boonies right now, or at least close to it. So there's ample foliage to meld in with if you're if you're dressed in green or black at this point. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, I want to know uh, how can I get would would this be legitimate? How how can I get into auto over past something in terms of getting closer? Now this is the the house we haven't identified the lair yet. We don't know if we're by the lair. That's correct. There's a, there's a house and a like a like a garage barn in the back, but you aren't sure what if any of those are the lair or if it's something else or etc cetera, etc cetera. so no though there is no lair ideas of yet okay uh, uh no pressure but you gotta choose something okay <laughs> aren't, we well, basically, what? aren't we basically just waiting for her to leave and follow her to her lair uh, she's not there right now. So this is a, this is the ability to, you're investigating like the land as it were, that kind of thing. Okay. So once she does come out, yes, there will uh, be the ability to then sneak and follow her, but we're not there yet. Right. So maybe we need to know about threats. Yeah, it's up to doc. It's up to Alice. <laughs> no pressure, but you only uh, have five seconds before I avoid your questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Four. Uh, uh, Three, uh, 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 two. Uh, how? Uh, what threats? What threats can I perceive here? <laughs> All right. So, uh, other than the GM, <laughs> the GM. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just do my job, citizen. Just do my job. Uh, so it takes you a little while, but every now and then you see like a glint in the in the moonlight. Uh, it, it seems to happen when wind blows, and it, after. You know, watching this for a few times, you see what looks like what must be uh, a uh, like a beer can trap, where like if you if you uh, trip the trip wire, the beer cans you know bang together and rustle and make a whole lot of noise. So you see that kind of going up just to the left of the driveway, where like where it would be smart to sneak past. You know, there's enough foliage there and kind of. 
um, you know, background matter that you could blend in. But yeah, that's where that's where a noise trap is at. Made of beer cans and twine. Is this out at the road end of the uh, driveway? It's inside. It's like uh, about halfway down the driveway to that barn sub barn place. All right. You have one more question, uh, potentially. Okay. Uh, how do I get? Uh, uh, how, how do I get? Well, I want to. I, I want to ask how do I get to the barn? But do I have to be more specific and say how do I get past the beer can trap? Uh, yeah, that would be a. I suppose that'd be actually a good question for this. That would be applicable. That works. Which one? Uh, how do I get past the beer can trap? Okay. So uh, as you kind of look, okay, now, now you've, you've picked out the beer can trap. So that was the hard part. Knowing that the trap exists is the important part of trap, of defeating the trap. So uh, you, see the, you see the beer cans and to the left of them looks like a plank. So like if you... If you walked up this plank, it's kind of uh, kind of pressed up against a tree. It's you know leaning up against the tree. If you go up that plank, and then you jump down the tree on the other side, you'll bypass the can traps, basically. Or if you go up the driveway, but the driveway is completely exposed. You're you're basically walking out, you know, with the lights on from the house. Mm -hmm. So those are your main options. <laughs> Those are my two questions, right? Yep, those are your two questions. Okay. All right, what do you guys do? You do? Think? Uh, what do you think there? What do well, we do? I think, uh, 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 especially because of the placement of this trap, I think uh, uh, I think we want to get a look at that uh, at that uh, shed over there that the trap seems to be protecting. I'm. I'm in agreement. Premium. Okay. Do we know how to get around it? Well, there is. Uh, I I could see this. Uh, there's this board leaning against the tree. We can use that to climb up to the uh, to one of the lower branches, and then from there jump over to the other side of the uh, beer can trap. Okay. Mikey starts without hesitation. <laughs> Suddenly, brave uh, beyond words. So I assume that, that this, so we're out in the country, but, you know, a lot of farms have, you know, like those uh, bright white lights either on the barn or, you know, like a, you know, because otherwise it's pitch black. Yeah, you see, that's, it's closer to the house right now. So it's like on the back corner of the house, it's shining forward. So again, that's why if you actually did take like the, the driveway, you'd be completely out in the open and, and visible and spotlighted, basically. Uh, Do you want to try and sneak closer to the shed? Yeah. So, I mean, this'll, this'll basically, you'll, you'll basically be having to take the same route unless you're gonna uh, brave the driveway. No. We'll, we'll do the sneak attack. All right. Okay. So for expedience sake, uh, why don't I have each of you do a move roll <laughs> so why don't we start with the strongest oh, movers? All right. Well, uh, Alice, uh, I have a three. Nice. Hey. So the I the two. I have a right. two. All right. So this. So let's start with Alice then. Maybe Alice is. It makes sense for Alice to lead the way anyway. So so the benefit of this is the fact that if she if she gets extra successes, she can pass those on to people who don't get successes. Okay. Andy, what's one your of the move? Roles. Two. Okay, yeah. so. Okay, so Alice got nothing. Zero. Push your luck. <laughs> All right, do you want to spend any any luck or anything? Very good. Okay, got one. Uh, yeah. Or you want to? You want to gonna... take a? You're gonna? You have a luck to spend? Yes, I do. All right, spend it and re-roll your boo, please. Okay. Meanwhile, Mikey got a one, so Mikey's good. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move again. All right, cool. Oh, damn. Nice. So Alice gets what did I get? two. Oh, two successes. Yep. Okay. So you get one for yourself and hold the other one and we'll see if anyone else needs one and you can pass it over to them. Right. And what that, that'll be illustrated by like, you know, you get over it real lively and then you're the one who kind of grabs onto them type of thing and oh. pulls them over. <laughs> Andy's good. Looks like Jude's bringing up the rear. We got it made. We got it made, you guys. It's like inside voice. <laughs> Zero successes. All right, so this is where Alice is probably sitting up on the crook of the tree, and uh, Jude's desperately trying to scramble up, but Jude doesn't do the outside thing really, and the shoulder still hurts. The shoulder still hurts, and yeah. just oh, a, yeah. just yeah. about to fall, and Alice like reaches out with her hand and clasps him, like just out of a movie, and it's it's so it's it's dramatic yet. If you if you step back, it's like oh he, she helped him up up this board and onto a tree limb. But yeah. in the moment, it's like it's like I can I save you and you grab the arm and you know it's like in your minds there's you know the wind's the blowing by and whipping by and like he could fall. Somebody up uh, on a running horse and scoop yeah, somebody up. Yeah, exactly. That's the feeling. Yeah. That's what that's how you feel as you're doing it. And you scoop him up yeah. and like bring him up over. And next thing you know, you're both were safely. You're all are safely on the other side. And you can now clearly see from the rear side of it oh, did, uh, the uh, traps. Did Mikey make it? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh. Everybody made it. Oh, I see. I missed. I missed that one. Sorry, Mikey. I rolled in between your that. rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Got impatient. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys are going to go to like the the barn thing, the barn structure. Yep. We're going to kind of sneak over yes. there. All right. Uh, let's see. Cue up the Mission Impossible. Music. <laughs> the Mission Impossible yeah. music. I'll say that this move really gets you pretty much over there. Um, it's gonna take if you if you it's gonna take like an investigate for you guys to kind of get a an idea of what's going on here. Maybe. Yeah, I'll investigate this. Two successes. Nice. All right. So yeah, so Jude's kind of steps in, probably does a lap around the place. It's 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 very much like a again, it's like a small barn. Um as anyone could envision uh he's inside. It, yeah, you're all inside. The, I'm, I'm I'm saying the move gives you the ability to not only bypass the trap but get to the barn structure. So again, it's dark. But actually inside the barn. Right? Yes. Inside. Yes, you guys are all inside the barn. Of the barn. So right. the so it's dark, but that moon is out. So things are still in a lot of shadow here. Uh, no light from the house, that house spotlight that kind of Andy was describing. That's all pointed at the house and towards the road, basically looking for interlopers, if you will. Um, sure. But uh, so everything. Bring a flashlight. <laughs> Probably not. Jude has a camera flash. Oh God, that's only good for horror stories. It's like I can't see anything. Hit the flash, and you see the monster standing in front. No, that's not this one. No, but uh, yeah, you see, Alice, uh, because because of how far out we are, Alice, uh, you know, borrowed her uh, uh, her uh, you know older in quotes brother's uh, bike, the one she uses for the paper route in the morning. So sad, and that one, in quotes. fact, has has a det detachable uh, headlight uh which he can take off and use as a flashlight sure why not so so yeah i also light the way uh jude you'll kind of take the lap of it and kind of get the feel again it looks like a looks like a like it's a small barn basically has what what you would think is contained in a barn the the floor is all covered with hay and dirt uh though it is a wooden floor you can feel it underneath it uh there's uh, like hooks on the wall a lot of you know tools and rope and stuff are hanging there stuff implements that someone would need to fix things uh there's like there there's uh in one corner of it there's this really this small tractor thing it's more the size of, a, of a, like a you know four-wheeler than an actual big tractor but it has that scoop on the front uh and there's just various implements like that sitting around there so you have uh, two successes, so you get uh, three questions. Jude. Shout out to the three creeps. 
um, the first question, what is hidden here and where is it? So as Jude looks around and again, kind of takes, takes that lap, um, as you're kind of making the rounds, you notice that there is a, uh, uh, what you call it, like a, a door that's in the ground. And it has, it's one of those things where it has the ring around it. And you can, if you it's find the ring, door. yeah, trapdoor type thing. So you, you can, if you find the ring, that's kind of, uh, it's the, the wood is carved. So that the ring is flush with the, the top of it. If you can get that ring out, then you can pull the thing up and it's basically covered by, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hay and stuff like that. Pieces of hay. Uh, uh what threats can I perceive here? Uh, what threats? That is a good question. I'm going to say that. Hmm, that's a really good one. So you you do notice in in kind of connection to this door that there's this wire. Uh, it's like a. It's actually like a like a. It's not like a wire that, you know, you connect circuits with. It's more of a wire that, you know, that chicken wire is made out of, but kind of straightened out. And there's an edge of it that's around um, the base of that, that uh, ring that picks out. And you can, you can kind of follow it. And uh, as you, you guys can all see, like Jude following this, this uh, thing, uh, yeah, this wire. And suddenly you're at the wall and... As Alice shines her light, it looks like it's a road flare that's rigged to this thing. So if you pull up the 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 hook or the 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 ring without disconnecting it, it'll pull on the tip of that uh, road flare that then pops it and starts it burning. I want to disconnect that. Gotcha. You can definitely do that. So yeah, you guys are watching this, and that's a road flare, man. This is like. I can't remember what the hell road flares are made of, but they burn like start the whole barn hell. on fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Easily. Yeah. All right. Do you have another question, Jude? Yeah. Um, I think you've already asked. Uh, told oh. me how to get inside of that. Okay, but you're allowed one. You're allowed one more if you have a question. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it until I can think of a good question to ask. Okay. All right, so you disconnect the thing. Is anyone going to open up the thing, up the, the, what you call it, the trapdoor? I think Mikey just volunteered. <laughs> Mikey is the badass. All right, what, oh, yours, what's Mike? in here? So what hand does Mikey pl pull all it up with? Cool gadgets in here. Yeah, what hand does Mikey pull the ring with? Uh -oh. Both hands. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> yep. Good. That's it. It's heavy, so it's going to require both hands. And you do not want to lift this anymore. <laughs> so yeah, and it's probably Mikey's first trap door too. So like, he doesn't even really understand how to where to stand to pull this open. Like, he's like, <laughs> are you standing I on the door? Away. I can't, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much I pull, it won't come up. <laughs> if if that girl can do it i think mikey can do it i i can get it started but somebody else has got to help me like once i get it oh you gotta lift get under it and help me get this thing over okay i'll 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 get under it once you get it up yeah you're strong man all right so we do that all right so you get the thing open and it's it looks like it's uh you can't tell like what it was used for is maybe it maybe it was a root cellar. Maybe it was some kind of extra storage area, but there's actually, believe it or not, a ramp that goes down. So if you open it up, there's a ramp that leads down to it as opposed to stairs. And the ramp is made of, uh, it seems like dirt and, and like, uh, uh, rocks what is, what is it? gravel, gravel type thing. And gravels at the bottom. You can't quite see in it. It's dark even when Alice shines her light. In fact, it's when Alice shines her light down there that you hear stuff coming, uh, commotion coming from the house. Shit. Oh, no. It's and uh, as you're, really yeah, you guys are, you guys are peeking out probably and you see uh, in the light, because there's still in the light at this point, you see a girl 
uh, you know, a teenage girl and a dad must be the dad, uh, leaving the house and coming towards the barn area. Like, yeah, you hear, go in? you hear, you hear basically a lot of, a lot of, you know, chatter back and forth and, you know, you know, the dad's messing with the daughter, the daughter is, you know, messing back and, you know, there's like a little, you know, a little wrestling type fight coming on, you know, they, they're, and then they just keep going. There's, there's something going on. They, they want, they want, there's something that they want to do at the barn. It seems little, little barn. Let's go in. Let's go okay. In. Well, let's, okay. Close the, close the door. Let's spread the straw back on the door and we could hide behind that uh, four wheel tractor. You know, the one with the scoop on the front. All right. Who's doing what? Right. Who's this, did anyone go in? Jude went in. <laughs> he went in. He went in. Get out. It's too late. It's too, too late. late. So okay, Jude's inside. You you guys have closed the thing down you smooth. Jenkins, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you smooth the the stuff over. Do you do you do you put the wire back on? Uh, sure. No, it seems very dangerous. <laughs> Alice is concerned about it, safety. I don't OSHA know how shit. It was a if it was a fa- a fi- a, a fixed in such a way that it's easy to put back on, sure. Okay, yeah, it's it's not hard. It's it's it looks like it's made to be taken off easily and putting back put back on. Oh, sure. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's back on. All right. So uh, let's see. So let's do it. Uh, Mike uh, Jude is inside and in the dark. Is Jude afraid of the dark or anything? Do we need to know about this? Is this the time we uh, find out Jude's afraid of closed places or the dark? Not afraid of the dark, but afraid of heights for sure. Okay, well you're pretty good uh, then. The your fears are not. Basement, yeah, your your fears are the farthest thing from you right now. But well, I can't say that you're you're literally trapped in a trap door in a barn, and and hicks are coming <laughs> out, and you probably heard of Chains- Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so anything can happen. Really definitely told me about that one. Yeah. So all right, the the remaining three. Let's make a sneak so I'm roll. Run and duck behind the um. Yeah. All of us. Yeah, you all you all are going to be making a sneak roll. So uh, tell me where you're going. You know, again, it's not, yeah, let's let's add on like what you what are you guys hiding behind? Is there anything? I mean, uh, uh, the only thing you described in there that sounded hideable was that small tractor. That's why I was saying that. It's yeah, there's a tractor. There's can again, I ask there's, if there's door? other things that we can hide behind. <sighs> The not really. There is there's a tractor. There's giant those giant water troughs that tend to like be for feeding animals and stuff. Uh, maybe there's a, there's definitely a big pile of hay in one corner. Do that kind of like, thing. Do they have like a second story? Not this one. This is this is not that kind of barn. All right. So where where are you, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? So Andy's going where? Uh, oh, behind yeah. the tractor. Behind the tractor. Uh, How about me too? Yep. Alice. Tractor? Uh, behind the tractor, if there's enough room there. Oh, yeah, there's enough room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my Did I say I was hiding behind the tractor? I meant to <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy, do you want to uh, spend a luck? Do you have any luck? or do you wanna... I do not have luck because I increased a year in age. So I lucked out. Day. You're luck free right now? Yeah. You want to check a condition? Oh, mark a condition. Uh, Are you scared? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, 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 I guess I'll do scared. I think that makes the most sense for this situation. Okay. Mark scared and roll again. Could you, could you throw something and distract them? And use your well, pride? what I was going to say is once we get behind the tractor, I was going to get my ball out in case I need to throw it to sort of you know get them outside or something like that gotcha um yeah i mean if you want to uh, i'll let you use this on the second roll but you'll you'll have to check a condition to do it but i'll let you use your special item well no i, I was gonna i was gonna use that in case i needed so like if they come into the bar and we need to distract them i was gonna throw the ball you know outside and then they would hear something outside and i don't know Okay, sure. But I'll uh, I'll try this again. I okay. was just thinking, without your ball, you could still check your pride because your pride is about having a great throwing arm, right? Yeah. So you could still check your pride to re-roll, but just not throw your ball. Like, 
throw a stone or something. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks like I still failed. So. All right. Hold on to that. So let's, uh, how about uh, Alice or Mikey? Why don't you roll your sneak? Uh, I already rolled mine. You did? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. good. I see one. Okay, I got one. All right. How about Alice? Yes. Yeah. Alice got a one, uh, or Mikey got one, rather. Okay. That'd be a great time for two uh, successes, see. Alice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. So Alice one. got one. Okay. Alice got one. Mikey got one. Andy is not quite there. If I'll give you one last chance, Andy, if you want to uh, check your pride. I'll let you roll one more time with your ball. If you're, if this is like your last okay. ditch effort to like distract them and get them to not even come in the barn. Yeah. I'll, what I'll do is I'll throw the ball out, in, out the door into the field to try to like sort of hit the tree or something like hit that. A, so they yeah, can hit, stop and hit one of the wooden fences, that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 That All would right. be it. All right. So use your, use your ball. Right, so check your pride, uh, use your ball and this will be still a sneak though. No successes. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Not even Nada. Sorry, guys. He probably <laughs> threw it out the front door. They saw him. <laughs> yeah, it like flies out. So yeah, it, it's dark. The as they're approaching the barn, uh, the uh, uh, the the dad and the kid are are in there, and uh, all goes by. the The noise gets made, and the kid looks elsewhere, but the dad's like. All right now, I know you're in there. You come on out, or I'll go get my gun. <laughs> Mikey's frozen. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't let him get me! Please don't let him get me! Please don't let him get me! Please don't let him get me! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't we? Since we're at the end here, why don't we leave this as a uh, cliffhanger? Perfect. So uh, let's do let's do go straight into XP. What a what a what a exciting cliffhanger! That's like the second cliffhanger in a row, adventure wise. You guys are going for it. So uh, yeah, so let's go straight into XP. And as usual, I have to look it up real quick, but I have an idea where it is, so that's always good. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so close here we are all righty so uh yeah let's start off with uh jude What's up? jude so jude did you participate in the session tonight i sure hope i did all right that's one have you been in trouble because of your problem or your relationships this episode mm, uh, uh... I don't think so. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll say no on that I one. Think of what, yeah. All right. Did you use or struggle with your pride? No, sorry, Bob. All right. <laughs> Did you put yourself at risk for the other kids? Oh, most definitely. Uh, there you go. And have you learned something new? If so, what is it? God, robots are heavy. <laughs> nice. All right. Three XP for Jude. Good job. All right. How about Andy? You good next? Sure. All right. Andy, did you participate in the episode of this session? Uh, yeah. You did. Have you been in trouble because of one of your problems or your relationships this session? Not this one. Okay. Did you use or struggle with your pride? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Uh, yeah, that, that ball is only, is only, has never failed you, man. It's so, it's so, so, so much it's iconic. It's iconic. Item. Uh, you oh, can't yeah. always throw a perfect game. You can't always throw a perfect game, yep. Uh, let's see. So uh, did you put yourself at risk for the kids, the other kids? Yep. You did. And what, if anything, have you learned that's new? Uh, hmm. Well, I, you know, it's interesting that um, this whole um, idea of um, the, the kids that are um, girl that was getting picked on is now sort of 
you know, taking her revenge. And uh, um, I think it makes him realize that, um, you know, picking on people have, have, have consequences and, you know, it can really be a thing that um, can push someone o over the edge. Cool. All right. That works. Uh, so let's see here. So that's uh four, I believe. Four yeah. for my four for Andy. So I'm gonna take that. That'll give me another. I'm, I'm gonna take another skill because that puts me over. Oh, nice. What are you gonna take since we're here? Um, huh. I'm gonna add to my sneak. <laughs> <laughs> it seems appropriate. <laughs> All right. Good for you. Good. Good choice. Uh, All right. I thought it hit two. I'm adding to my charm. Nice. These are all important, and I have to I have to point out that it looks like I mean uh, I haven't again I, I didn't really make these adventures to be I, I made them to be you know going in different directions, but it seems like it, you know our most used ones are charm sneak and uh, move type stuff. There's there haven't been any real fist fights yet, but we're not done. Except for robots. Except for robots. Yep. <laughs> so I find that interesting. So uh, how about Mikey? Are you ready? Sure. All right. Uh, did you participate in the session? Yes. yes. Have you been in trouble because of your problems or your relationships? Really? What do you think? Yes, no. Oh, I said not really. Oh, not really? Okay. You cut out a little bit there. Uh, have, did you use or struggle with your pride? Yes. Yes. You yep. definitely you actually checked your pride, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, did you yep. put yourself at risk for the other kids? I put myself at risk. Uh, for fun, yeah. <laughs> that counts. All right. And have you learned something new? If so, what is it? Um, I have learned how to break locks with torches. <laughs> that's that's oh, a yeah. that's a that's a life skill right there. All right. So that's four, four for XP for Mikey. Okay. All right, yeah, Doctor. I too am going to take one, but I think I'm going to take one in contact. Since, Ooh, uh, looking for that right we person. We have a little bit of like, hey, you know him, right? So I'm going to give myself a point in contact. All right, that's smart. Okay, uh, Alice, are you ready? Oop, you might be muted there. I can't hear you. Yes. Can you oh. hear me? Yep. Yeah, you're a little delayed, but you're good. All right, so uh, Alice, did you participate in the session? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Uh, have you been in trouble because of your problem or relationships? Uh, no. Okay. Did you use or struggle with your pride? Not yet. <laughs> Not this episode, but make it be coming up, I think, maybe. Okay, did I, did I, uh, uh, yes, uh, don't take shit from no one. Uh, that kid with the comic books in his bag it kept trying to yeah uh claim that we had set up a date and uh you know and i uh certainly struggled to get the message over to him that we have yeah. not made a date yeah as a, as a note it completely failed but yes we'll count that so yes yeah, you, you definitely should uh did you put yourself at risk for the other kids okay by the way do, uh, do I get to do one for drive also or not? No, your drive Sorry, is not not there. Drive doesn't count. Okay. Yeah, it's it's flavor so, direction. Yeah, did type. I use not, did say that? It's, okay, so I'm sorry. Did you put yourself at risk for other? I... Did you put yourself at risk for the other kids? Uh sure. Sure. Uh, uh, everything we do puts ourselves at risk. <laughs> uh, all right. For you were. Other. Well, yeah. I mean, you like. Um investigated and then helped jude get over the thing there we go the specific yeah. yeah there's definitely a risk okay uh have you learned something new if so what is it yes i learned that uh samuel Liu, uh who i see drawing in his notebook at school has actually drawn 15 issues of his comic book based on uh dark vengeance that's definitely something new. All right. So that's uh four for Alice. Yeah. Cool. Unfortunately, those are the only four experience checks she has right now. 
Well, I mean, that means you've been using them, so that's a good thing. Good job. All right. So uh, let's. Uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was a cool episode. I, I like that we have another cliffhanger. It was well timed, I think. Uh, so give you guys a little time to ruminate on what's about to happen or what could happen. Da da da. It's so very stressful. It is. Well, it it literally is for me. Like I I can't believe I'm like, oh my god, I can't. What is gonna happen? Like, especially since you know, Mikey doesn't necessarily think the most of uh hicks because hicks tend to be the ones that tend to give them the worst time so <laughs> all i'll say is y'all should have came in with me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. irony i think you're right man oh goodness all right so uh yeah so i'm looking forward to the next episode already yeah, uh so this was alice is thinking well at least we got an ace in the hole but she's kind of worried that that's jude <laughs> yeah that's 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 hurtful for jude too it's like, <laughs> it's like never you, got a, you got a jack in the hole <laughs> funny <A jack. laughs> all right so this was by the way this was session eight uh, there's two to go till the end of the campaign he has been rocking it right. so yeah wow. but yeah we're 80 percent through can you believe it wow i know yeah you guys been seriously awesome so how many more episodes two left Oh wow! Okay, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. So, so 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 ten can't be a cliffhanger, right? Can't be, or can it? Or, or is or, it like a cancel series? Triple, or can it? Or it's a triple threat, like? Oh yeah, triple part three of a three part series. It's, just, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be one of those a series that gets canceled before the story gets resolved. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's It'll just gonna be get like, over the yeah. maybe maybe like next year we can come back and. And do a two-hour movie version of yeah. the. Uh, you guys will be. You'll get. You guys will be. Uh, you know, you know, the actors that play you will be stars at the convention. So, um, in your playing of Andy Martin, so like I, I thought perhaps that Andy was secretly concealing that he was in love with Mikey the entire time. Can you speak to that? Because I saw some um, some love there. You know, you know, the 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 Ninawake Khan. Or whatever. I love listening to shippers. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So awesome. So yes, yeah, so we have two more to go. They're gonna be awesome. Um, as a note, if we don't go into triple trouble, the three part episode, uh, I'm looking to be do a special episode, a very special, not a very special episode, because that's always, you know, some kind of horrible thing happens to one of the characters that I don't care to get into. Uh, so it'll be a very special episode, but it'll be a a a. a season finale episode so cool. be ready if it is if it doesn't go into three parter which it could so uh yeah on that note let's get the heck out of here um let me say thank you to my players who are awesome as always let's start with uh we have dr oculari hello or there. goodbye there yeah goodbye there there's dr oculari's banner which is awesome as always uh we have aaron thanks for watching yep and be careful. Uh, be on lookout for Mikey's playlist. I'll be putting that in the description. Uh, next, we have Tim. See you next time. And last but not least, we have the very groovy Robert, who gets to turn on some air conditioning now, and and survive. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. All right, why don't yeah, you do that now? out here, man. I am dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So much better. Awesome. It's like uh, coming down. Yep. All right. Good job. So I am Scott Scott's Case Files. If you're watching this on Twitch, uh, all my stuff is below. Click on the About, all the Twitters, the Discord, etc. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, all the links are also below in the description. Uh, and you know, follow us, all that kind of good stuff. Hit the bell. I always want to hit the bell after you subscribe to be notified of new videos and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so cool. Thanks for joining us. It was a cool episode. I'm always impressed with my players and the choices they make. Uh, it's like you hear about, you know, actors, you know, judging each other. Oh, they made some really great decisions that I wouldn't have made on this role. And I got to say the characters, the, the players make some really interesting choices with their characters that I'm always impressed with. So this is a good group. So if you're looking to get a how to of role playing, you're in the right place so on that note i will leave you guys and i hope you have a great rest of your week we'll see you next week um so uh be good to each other 
all that kind of stuff. Go forth and do no harm. And we'll see you when we see you. Take care. Bye for now.